Are we I Aaron Chin? We're Aaron. No. Let's just get into it, man. Yeah. Brian's late. He's I don't 50, understand he's that. He's 51, sends me a text that goes, bro, lost track of time. Be there soon. Who loses track of time? I don't even know what that is, by the way. I don't even know what losing track of time is. Wait, here's the problem. We've been doing the show for six years. Yeah. It's the same time. Every Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> Every, but it, So, you know, it's not like, oh, it's a crazy Thursday and it's yeah. a mix-up. Especially when I have a guest. If it's just me, I'm used to it. Yeah. I, dude, it, I used to have inner demons mm. thinking about killing Brian when he'd be late. So I mean, I've, I probably quit the show four to five times because he's late all the time. Yeah. And they stopped being late. He hasn't been late in a while. Yeah. But it, it used to be a real problem. Yeah. Now I'm just like, I chalk it up. It's Brian. Yeah. But you can kind of see that with Brian's progression in life. Like, <laughs> you can tell that. Like he lost track it's, of time. It's always been losing track of, losing time. Track of time. Yeah. And now it's really hitting him. And now it's, it's like, hey, I'm going to do a special. It's like, I think you lost track of time, bro. <laughs> yeah. That should have been done 15 years ago. But uh, yeah. Go, hey, good job. We'll you promote. Did, did we'll it. promote. You did it, dude. Um, we before we started going live, we we're talking about fashion because you're always a fashionable dude. You got my favorite off whites on right now. Yeah, the Prestos. This is this is the best. Th this I don't even consider this a collab. I don't even consider this Nike. I consider this a piece. Like this is a piece of artwork from uh, Virgil. Agree. And and like yo, you can put this on display, and everyone's gonna be like, yo, what is that? Like I, that's how I look at this shoe. It, this is the best. This is the best design since. The Jordan Four or the Jordan Three? I'm a fan of the ones too. The ones, I yeah, I get it, but the ones were just a sleeker version of like a an Air Force or whatever. It's still like a dope a, shoe, like a Dunk. Yeah, it looked yeah. like a yeah. It's just it's just a sleeker version of that. But the three was kind of like what saved Michael from leaving to go to Adidas. I think he was going to go to Adidas or Converse, and that was the shoe that saved it. The three, the three. I'm not mad. And I think that because I, I I grew up during that era. I I remember when the three came out, and I remember all of us going to Foot Locker just to look at it on the wall. Oh, they, we, they were such a big deal. It was crazy because we couldn't believe what we were seeing. There was like, there's no swoosh. We were like, what? And but it's crazy. And that, and it's now, not a high top. Yeah, there's now there's really nothing like that. Is there? nothing. There's nothing that the Yeezys I guess create the kind of pandemonium that comes with it. Does it though? Not the same does pandemonium. It? Does it? A does fuck it? boy pandemonium. It, okay, because like I see people wearing the Yeezys, and I'm like, okay, are you wearing them because you really, truly, truly love the design like of the shoe, they look dope. or is it because this is the hot thing and everyone's talking about? Like when the Jordan hit, the Jordan fucking hit, hit, hit. Jordan like changed Classic. the shoe game. I feel, I feel it like changed Yeezys. basketball. Agree, forever, forever. I feel like with Yeezys, and even I, I do own a bunch of them. Didn't pay for all of them, but people send them to me, and when I put them on, I think the same thing. I'm like. Am I wearing these because I actually dig them? They are comfy, super yeah. comfy. Like, do they look hey, that? Crocs dope? are comfy. You're right. Uggs are comfy. Uggs are comfy. Unless Tom Brady can't wear Uggs. Yeah. No. No. I'm just, I'm just saying though. Like, like I see people rocking the. Uh, do you have any Uggs or these. no? No, I don't. Not one pair. I just they never checks over this, stripes. This bro. shoe right here. There's another pair of off whites that 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 hit me right in the ass. The 97s, the Air Max that he did. And, oh yeah. And I was just like. Have you have you seen what the a Force, shoe, bro? It's, have you seen his the first off white Air Force Ones, the Clears? Yep, my son got those. My son got Besides those. Son, I, I literally bro. bought the whole wall when they came out. That whole round that came out. It was so funny. I got a text from Chris, Chris like, Delia, and he he was like, hey, "I'd say the three, but hate to interrupt. I'd say you, me, and Chris in comedy are probably the top sneakerheads." Oh, hands down. Not even close. Yeah. All right, and, and I'm OG. By, by the way, I'm OG. I talked You're about way you. Before me. I talked about you on, uh, oh my God, the show I just did. I'll look it up and, and, and say it. But they were like, yo, his game is hard. Right? And I was like, yo, he's killing it right now. Like his shoe game is hot. And then I looked at the camera. I go, but I'm OG. Yeah, you're, you're the original. <laughs> it goes you, Chris, then me. Yeah. Chris, it was so funny because Chris, um, you know, when he used to open for me. Uh, I, think, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I took Chris on the road. And um, because you saw I saw him, you I saw saw him at, at the Ha Ha. You saw him at the comedy store. Or no, I saw the, him at the Ha Ha. At Ha Ha, and you're like yeah. that kid's talented. I saw him. How many I, years ago? Been, he must have been doing it a year and a half. Wow. And I saw him, and I and I was like, when he got off stage, um, uh, Jason Collins introduced me to him, and then I went and saw him at the Ha Ha, and um, and I just walked up to him. You know, we were already friends, and I go, hey, you want to go on the road with me? 
and for a year and about a little over a year he went on the road with me wow yeah we were crushing it i was you know i was already getting like uh you know i was already selling out weekends how at many that years point. ago is this it's probably 11 years ago damn yeah saw chris that's and, so cool man yeah for a year yo he'd go it was so fun but to you see knew him. chris was gonna be like a, a i knew he was gonna be the best i kept telling jamie masada i was like what are you doing like this guy needs to be in, in the laugh factor what are you doing no buddy he's not ready i'm like what the fuck are you talking about this Monster. guy's put him on like i took him on the road and and, it, I, and I love putting people in front of me that are fucking strong but what i don't like following people that I are agree. like how interesting I, I i find it funny when comics do that yeah with a sandbag where they'll put oh, bro basically like bro like, you see it too don't you i see it i'm like because as a, i hate you know, it i was a fan of comedy before i started doing it so you want the you want the audience to have the best show possible. Always. So if you put shit in front of you, Yo. it it doesn't really make you look better. No. It's like, God, those guys were awful. And awful. Then, then the crowd's kind of off. It's not yeah. good, man. So you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to see any names. There's a lot of guys oh, that dude, do that. I take a that guy. personally sandbag the show. Bro, I take a guy uh, named Derek Post, and he's a, a door guy at the comedy store. Uh-huh. I want I don't I want to say who, but big name comics that we know would bring him. He crushes. Yeah. They don't bring him anymore. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah. I, I, I have to have someone that crushes in front of me. I, I love that feeling of like, oh shit, I hope I can follow him or oh God, I gotta bring it up tonight. I gotta I gotta step it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're I, so good though. I, man. I don't wanna like I I I don't I just don't you know where I got it from? Cedric the entertainer. I opened for Cedric and it was in uh God, I don't know how many years ago. This is like fourteen years ago, and I was opening for him at uh, some Indian reservation. And uh, I, I crushed. I'm not going to lie, man. It was like 3,500 people there. I fucking Bla slayed. Black audience. Black assume? audience, yeah. bro. People are standing. You know, I said goodnight. They, they, they stood up. They were screaming. I walk off to the side of the stage. I see Cedric on the side of the stage. He's got his fedora on. He's got his suit on. He's bouncing like a fighter, like in the corner of the ring. And he's like, that's what I'm saying, motherfucker. Make me work for this money, motherfucker. Yep. Make me work for this shit. That's what I'm talking about, Joe Coy. And he slapped my hand and walked out, and they literally forgot who the fuck I was. And I was like, that's, I need to be him. That's who I need to be. Most of the big dogs are like that, though. Yeah, man. Most of them. Yeah. Ain't scared. They're not worried about. I don't get it, dude. When I was coming up, man, out of that Laugh Factory spot, I mean, there, there were cats that were like, you know, there were the strong cats that you wanted to follow, and then there was those guys that loved it when you were in front of them, but then there's a few of them that were like, oh, he's on? Let me bump him. Or, oh, I'll see guys now where you'll they'll be like, oh, no, let me go here. Let me go like, here. Dude, who I'm cares? Like, dude, just Just because he does well, bro. it doesn't mean it, he's stealing laughs or yeah. that they're all out of laughs. Bro, is that what it is? If it's, la yeah, you don't run out of laughs. No. Laughs come funny's from your funny. jokes. Yeah, funny's if funny. If you're funny, you're funny. Yeah. Follow it. You're, uh... See, I, uh, I was talking yesterday with Derek and Hassan, uh, their comedy store door guys. Do you're never at the store really? No, I never like, really went through the the store. But you know, you know, I was blessed with Jamie Masada. Like Jamie, when he first Ralphie May is the one that told Jamie to sign me. And so that's you're, why you're a Laugh Factory Ralphie. guy. Yeah, because there was no other rooms that I could get spots up at. You know what I mean? So when you first started, when I first came here, but I was already 13 years in because uh, I started in Vegas. So I was doing like rooms and I was like booking theaters myself. Like yeah. I was booking, I, I had this one theater, bro, I go way back, man, I'm sorry. But like I would get sponsors to pay for my theater rooms. And one of my sponsors was Dada Footwear. Oh, I don't know wow. if you remember that, but I Dada. I sure do. And, 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 and Biggie Smalls and LL Cool J used to wear the hat. Old school, man. Yeah. And, and, and I got them to sponsor my shows. I, I ended up meeting the owner and then the owner started sponsoring my shows. I'm still best friends with the guy. Uh, that did the marketing, uh, Carlos Perot, and uh, and he was they were they were paying for my shows out there, and I, I got JB Smooth to come out, I got Honest John, Jay Lamont, uh, Michael Blackson. I was doing Jeez. this in like '95. Monsters. Yeah, man, and 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 that, that's I was comfortable, so I, I lived in Vegas because I was making money off of these shows. So and then when you came to LA, you're like, I was already 13 years in, but I but when I came to LA, I was like, okay, I did 13 years of stand up, and here I am coming to LA and now it's like ground zero again. You know so what I'm saying? So strange, yeah. So imagine like being able to like, so were you, I know were, all these guys, but. So were you kind of like, like at the store, we're like, nah, I don't need to get past. I'm going to do this for 13 years. Exactly. Like, let me, a, that let was me, my attitude. Let me work. Yeah. 
I, I didn't understand that there was this, I this see process that. to get in. Hierarchy. Yeah. And then and then uh there was like this uh theme show at uh Laugh Factory. And I got in on on that theme show. It was called Asian Invasion. And I, I it got was on, all Asians? Yeah, well not really. It, PK, uh Amy Anderson used to look who's late. Look who's late. Lost track of time. Yeah. You're fifty though. Yeah. <laughs> How's that happen? I um uh, Okay, I know I can trust you guys not to make fun of me. And Get ready for the worst lie you've heard yeah, in a yeah, long yeah, time, yeah. Joe. I don't want, like, I've been doing this for quite some time. I, I can understand. I Get ready. Spread around. Can I say this to you guys without you guys making fun of me? One hundred percent. This is how my son starts Get his ready. lie. They're my so bad. The same they're, they're so bad. It makes my day how bad yeah, his yeah, lies yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. I had to walk my dog. I had to make breakfast. That's not an excuse. Yeah, that's. And fine. I understand that. Yeah. I had to take a shower. That's not an excuse. That's not an excuse. You don't have a dog at your part. This is vulnerable for me. I had a case of the squirts. <laughs> there you go. All right. See, see it? There you go. Yeah. God, you're so much more creative. Than yeah, 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 yeah. But you're so much more creative than yeah. that. Yeah. At least come up with something. Yeah, and uh, my house got broken. <laughs> oh. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, just bad, dude. Yeah, that's that's a that's a lie. You don't. Excuse me. Well, you're a liar. This this train just keeps on going, doesn't it? Well, yeah. It's the fighter and the coy now. What? Fighter and the coy, bro. You're it's, out. This Wait, thing, yeah. this thing. No, no, hold on. Wait, you, you remember that that whole thing where you lose track of time? Yeah. That's this is what happens during that time. Listen, when you lose track of time. Yeah. That little that area that you miss. Yeah. It gets filled in. People it, forget about you. People forget. Check now check the comments. Now it's Brandon. Com are those the comments? No. On the screen right yep, there. Yep, those are it. <laughs> Read those, those are it. Oh, so seven thousand negative ones. What? Yeah, negative. So now it's. Brennan and Jacoy? Yeah, Jacoy. Yeah, Jacoy. Jacoy's in the yeah. house, everyone. Jacoy. Oh, do you, uh, you would laugh at this? I really don't like you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't, I don't do know. anything. I don't even know why. I didn't even do anything. I don't even know why. Come on, dude. I don't have the anger anymore, but when Brian used to be late, if he was younger, I swear to God, I'm not just saying this, I would, I'd want to fight you. Oh, you would. I would literally oh, yeah, want to yeah, fight yeah. him. Really? Not anymore, though. I'm good. No, no, but older, he, rich, whatever. You used to. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You used to want to fight. Doesn't matter anymore. Well, I would, I'd be, I'd be like 25 minutes late. I was Will Sasso late. Yeah, I used to be Will That's Sasso right. late, and this, um, this was all I had at the time. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fist a cuff. Yeah. Oh, I want to hurt him, but you're too old. Yeah. Or it would ruin my reputation. Yeah. But if Hold you on. were younger, if you were, you might have given me a shove half about? of what you are. You would have given me a shove about. No. Wait no, a minute. No half? shove. Hold on. Yeah, if he was 30. 30. Hey, guys. 31-ish. <laughs> don't oh. joke. Don't 31 -ish. Jacoy, seriously. But you know Jacoy? what? Jacoy? Well, no, I don't have his time name to wrong, call bro. you. I don't have time to call your whole name. Dude, I, I saved time. he has the I'm hottest beginning. special on Netflix. and you, you, met, you, you show up late? Dude, your special looks very funny. Oh, why? Because yeah. Hollywood said, Reporter looks. ranked him top five <laughs> comics in the... You're doing well, huh? In the world? Do you have a helicopter? Oh, why? Because I didn't sell out helicopter. Brea, and then somebody goes... Dude, my agent goes, Joe Coy sold that like 17 times. I went, that well, that doesn't help me. Hurt your feelings. Hurt your feelings. I'm not him. <laughs> yeah, hurt your feelings. I? Hurt your feelings. No, it doesn't hurt my feelings. He's the best. Yeah. I've hey, been doing this for do three that. weeks. Don't go like this. Don't the go. Fighter hey. and the Koi. No. Fighter and the Koi. No. I don't know what color paint we're going to use for my face on that wall, but. <laughs> no, come on. Jacoy. Well, we're actually moving studios Monday, what, dude. What are you Ooh, wearing? Nice. Uh, young clothes. Yeah, he looks awesome. Young I think clothes. Brian. I, I know how to put it together. You're I'm not, not young though. I'm not. I'm not doing the whole laundry day look that you like to do. This is a cashmere. Like, hey, I got to do my laundry tonight. This is a wool cashmere. This is what I have. That I got at Vince. That's not They're cashmere. Not yes, it is. That's not cashmere. Feel it. What is cashmere? You what want, is it? You want to know? Yeah. To, what is it? It's a sheep. It's a type of sheep that comes from the Cashmere Valley. Oh. Yeah. Depends where you Super get your cashmere, warm. bro. What's my, oh, what happened, bro? What happened, bro? That's not what it is. Yes, it is. That's not what hey, it is. Hey, does silk really come from worms? Yes. yes. I fucking know it, dude. <laughs> yeah, it does. Silk comes from worms. Put those worms to work, dude. And silk is super strong. Is it really? Yeah. Really strong. Like, and Gucci makes the best. Some crazy... You know what I'm saying? It's got some crazy strength. You have no strength. idea what I'm saying. Like, it, like they can, it can... I think it's stronger in some ways than mm -hmm. steel. I don't know if that's true. Well, glad you're here, dude. Yeah, we're glad you're here. We were getting deep. Getting real deep Did about comedy. Uh, Do you know uh, Delia opened up for him? He brought him on the road Did first. Delia opened up for me, but oh, after him, yeah. after he went, he went boom. Delia, yeah, little yeah. menage a trois. Funny. Yeah. Uh, do you find that now that you're playing these massive arenas, mm. do you miss the intimacy of a club at all, or no? I do. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, I still play the clubs. You do? Yeah. Yeah, obviously. but I, I, I do miss. You still give to the poor people. No, stop. Just kidding. Mm. I do, I do, I do enjoy uh, the smaller rooms. I, I like to interact and you know because when you do the big rooms, you gotta play. You gotta yeah. play big. Hey, and, don't and, don't and you, you gotta feel, hit them jokes fast? Don't you yes. feel like because you shot your special in Hawaii? Yeah. You know, jo- like uh, basically <laughs> on the island of Oahu. Yeah. Just is just on the island, bro. Yeah. I put, everybody yeah. watched. They put a stage. Everybody watched in the middle of the well, fucking island. Yeah, yeah. Boom, yeah. Do, do, the whole, do, do, the whole do, do, island. But yeah, don't yeah, you yeah, just yeah. the island? Where'd you play? What's funny Wally? about your story is that I think Netflix kept passing because yeah. they had no idea how funny you were, or maybe yeah. they did, but they just for whatever reason they just kept passing. And then they pissed me off. Yeah. Didn't understand what was going on. They didn't understand. Did they give you a reason? No. And it was crazy because I was like, I'm selling out 17 Brea shows in a row. And and I'm like, I'm even offering to fly them to a, a gig. I was like, hey, I got I got these shows. I'll fly you and fly you back the same night. Just right. just watch this set. Just please. Watch, please. Give me an I need this hour special. And uh and literally they were just like, hey, we're gonna pass. We we got all the specials for the rest of the year. So we'll come see you next year. For 2018, mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's 2015. So strange. How happy are they now? <laughs> well, and, I and, shot it myself, and I, I know you did. And I'm not just saying this because you're here. I can't tell you how many people have hit me up and like, dude, Joe Coy special. Every, I was doing press last week, the week before. Everyone, dude, have you seen Joe Coy special? I'm like, oh. that's my guy, man. Oh, but what's funny? Ooh, I was but, talking but, to someone. God, I forget, but they go, dude, I've seen Joe Coy special, and I go, yeah, that's my guy. They go, no fucking way. I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm texting with him right now. This is my guy, man. Well, well, what's funny about that is that I've known you uh, 20 years, maybe. Yeah. You've never not been, you never not crushed. I've never seen you not crush. And what's funny is it just takes the business that long to catch up. It's like, I remember watching you uh, fucking do, well, first of all, you used to kill on Chelsea, but I remember the Laugh Factory. This is you what know? I was talking about, Ren. Like, this, these are the guys that I was talking about. Like, when he would walk in, these are the guys that we were, like, the guys that were just coming into the Laugh Factory, like... When, when you would walk in, we would all be like, oh, shit, he's about to go up. I gotta follow him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but, but I loved it. I loved yeah. watching you go. He would do the fucking, your vulture and shit. You would Crazy. do all this. The eagle. Oh, the, the eagle. Oh, fuck. I would love it. And, but that that's what made, I, I love that challenge of being able to follow you. We're saying how guys have set, before you got here. Yeah. We're saying how guys sandbag, like to put bullshit in front of them. Yeah. So they look better. No, we were all, it was, when you had to follow Joe. No, I'm not saying, Dove, Dove. I'm, saying on, I'm saying, on the, I'm, I'm saying on the road, brother. Right. Like, you know, how big name comics to bring guys that aren't that good. Oh, no, so I, they look better. I never did that. I, was, I don't like, understand that. I brought, I brought the best guy I could find. Yeah. Because I think it makes the, the show better. And, yes. You know, but, but my thing is with you with Netflix, I don't, I feel like you don't need that. Like, but I, I know you want to be on there, but mm. I don't see why you need that cosign. Like for me, it's different, right? Like I needed, I, it. I needed a Showtime because I come from a different background, and to be legitimate, I need someone to cosign that knows comedy, right? Mm. So I have to have that. I mm. can't just upload it to YouTube because any slapdick Harry can do that. But you're so ingrained, you're killing it everywhere. Like maybe, I, you're, it, maybe your next special. But this my thing though. It's like I don't know. But like when when they told me they passed, and I was like, oh well. Fuck Netflix. Like, mm. all right, who cares? But then now, because I feel attitude. like you're better than, I, and it, I'm just saying, like, you don't need them. There's certain guys that don't need them. Well, there's like when I hear Netflix, yeah. I'm like, all right, but the, be, you're gonna get so many views well, no the, matter the, where the you go. The one thing I would say is that a lot of America has it, and it's very convenient. And even on my TV, there's a Netflix button mm-hmm. for there's sure. Google Play, and so so 100%. in that sense, it brings up, and then Joe Coy's there. You are gonna get more eyeballs. For mm. now, I do think it's changing. For now. I, I wanted Netflix mainly because the first two specials I had, uh, they shelved on Comedy Central. So, so you, did, you did them for them. Comedy Central? Yeah. Then and you, then they it, came no at me. Saw. They what, offered year a was third. That? And then uh, I passed on that What one. year was that on Comedy Central? Oh, man. Uh, I, I don't know. 10 years ago? So and that's where they aired. They like, you better it. watch it Friday at seven p.m. Exactly. Otherwise, you're not going to fucking see it. No one saw it. And, no, and I love those first two specials. But that's not Comedy Central. They were great, call, is it? They were great. Did you right? see them? I didn't see them, but I know they were. I great. loved in them. Other, they were in other words, so I know good. the material that you were doing, mm-hmm. and, I, and I know that they must have been destroyed, mm-hmm. and no one sees them. But mm-hmm. and you, it, you know, it killed me. But that's not Comedy Central's fault, right? Like that's that I was the, so. the nature of the business, though. That's Comedy Central that many years ago. Like, what were they going to do? I mean, they didn't really have much. No promotion, uh, you're saying? Do, do you know what I think? Content. Do you know huh? what I think you should do? Because this is what I'm going to do for my 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 la- last two specials. Don't give don't give it ideas. I'm going to no. I'm going to no no. I'm I'm going to um 
redo like man class right mm. those bits used to fucking destroy the stuff you're talking about i'm gonna redo i'm gonna once in a while i'm just gonna do yeah, an old bit what's wrong with that you're that's a good idea i'm gonna do man. an old bit Your old stuff i'm gonna do an old bit and i'm gonna put it up on youtube and i'm just gonna do that with every one of my fucking bits can i I've can done. i do that with killer you? bits Fuck yes Fuck yeah, because yes, there's can. some bits, man, that I that I Myths, that right? are gone. Oh. That no one got to see. And them. it's not on digital. They're like great songs yeah. that nobody ever heard. Yeah, man. Right? Yeah, man. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna 100. percent I love that I'm, idea. I'm, I'm taking those bits and I'm gonna literally put them up. I Fuck love it. that. Yeah, I love that idea. I don't want them you to go away. Re- it's like, you know, you, sorry. No, maybe, go ahead. You could just do like a night at the comedy store in the main room, film it of your best bit for an hour of your classic bits, That's what I'm gonna do. and then just chop it up and release it. I love that idea. It's a good idea. I really love that idea. Why not? Because people yell it out all the time. I know. People yell out ting ting to me all the time. <laughs> and I can't do it. Like I can't even get myself to do it right. on stage. But it's like no one got to see that bit. No one got to see it. The, 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 so yeah, it's, it's only gonna help you crime. release it and you own it. So mm-hmm. you might as well release well, it. Well, the shit that you were doing, see what well, that's you the need other to thing. sell more tickets. The, 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 no, but but I will say that before Joe, I know this for a, like I've saw it. Like before you became jo- Joe Coy. In terms of like where everybody knows you, the shit you were doing back then was like a machine gun. I mean, it would just be like, but it's not. But he didn't come here like straight off the. I almost said the boat. Sorry, he didn't come. (laughs) He's an immigrant. He's a fucking immigrant. I I came. I came. I'm saying he came from Vegas for years. Manny Pacquiao and myself. And you guys had a set of gloves, had a microphone, (laughs) and I and I remember the first words I said was, "Is this thing on?" Is this he had a on. strong he thing. had a strong oh, Tagalog accent on. strong Filipino accent yeah. Back Filipino. Then. yeah how's everybody doing tonight I remember that was the first <laughs> I remember that right off the and boat and I was like right right off and the I remember, boat. Me, remember me I was a real racist, racist friend I was such a racist I was racist oh, last time you were here get the fuck out of here yeah. you yeah. fucking immigrant yeah remember? he used to say that he said get you fucking immigrant and I would go back and I'd shove you around yeah you shove me around yeah and I, and I still I would I would hammer through yeah. man. I make this it thing touch on. That was my closer. Is this, this thing, thing on? I used to sell shirts. Yeah. Is this thing on? Boom. I want you guys to know one thing. I had I, all my teeth have been ripped out of my mouth. That's I was why. wondering what was that? I, you. I thought you had a dip in. No, I man. thought you had a dip in. I was like, that's it. cool. Oh, man. Uh, what happened? I had. Uh, Do you have veneers? See that? Yeah. So I, I have veneers. Well, all of them are veneers, but Type I fell move. on a rock when I was a kid, and uh, that's why I, I got the veneers. And then uh, the 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 stud that was in here uh, f- collapsed mm. two days ago, Oof. and they had to rip it out of my mouth <sighs> and re yeah. So because I had a stud in there since I was like like thirteen when I fell on the rock, and it's you know the material they were using back then was like steel or some, yeah. <laughs> something not healthy, and it and it collapsed. So all this has been ripped out. And, and what they, how, how about how about did modern, they put new ones in two days ago? They put new I ones. I haven't brushed my teeth in two days. Huh? They put oh, that's nice. Yeah, did did welcome. they put new ones in? Yeah, they're t- this, these are all temps. I get my new ones uh, in two weeks. That's and d- it's gonna hurt when they put that in. Yeah, is Thank there anything worse than mouth pain? Like oh, nothing. Problems? How about like tooth problems? Thank yeah. God for modern day dental. Oh yeah. my God! What, what did we do? I know what we did. We lost all our teeth. I was at, when I was in Tempe, Arizona. This guy had. Oh, that's um, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> oh that's no! That's exactly what happened. Damn, that's not easy. They just ripped it out. Oh, that's not easy. Whose teeth are the third ones in? Yeah, who is that? Is that a oh, fucking man. rat? Oh, yeah. That is a- Fucking rat. What is happening? So you know what that is? That's when they file the teeth yeah. down. To put on veneers? Yes. Oh. Did they That's do that when they to you, t- file your fucking teeth Yeah, they down. filed all of mine. Like, like that? Yeah, it's yeah. awful. Oh, I'm not doing it. But now I'm missing it. teeth. Oh, I'm not doing it. <laughs> you think this guy <laughs> no, ever I was going to get veneers. I'm out. That hurts, you, you think this guy right here ever says, um, what is it that you don't like about me? <laughs> <laughs> do you think he ever... You have a beautiful smile. Is this something I said? I don't get it. I don't don't get get it. it. Is he good? Does he go like this? Beauty skin deep. Yeah. I'm a good guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a good guy. Well, I met a guy in Tempe (laughs) and he was a masseuse. Yeah. And he was a kind of a handsome guy and he was missing his front teeth. Yeah. Both? And yeah. And I, and he was very self-conscious of it. He obviously doesn't have the money for teeth. And I went, I swear to God, I was going to say to my friend, I was going to be like, listen, I will pay for his teeth. I would be. I'd be willing to give him four thousand dollars. But did you? You know why? So it doesn't matter. I Brian. didn't. I didn't because I. She left. I don't have her number, and I. I fucking regretted it. This is the same. The same no, stand up with the, the blind. They were like that. Came. They were like that. Uh, the bottom right down there. Why didn't you help this kid? Oh, God, you're huh? dick. Why didn't you help this guy? I will. 
Too I, late now. Yeah, it's done. I don't like that people are walking around without front. You have to have front. Did you play hockey though? It's a hockey look. No, he was a he was a big thick guy. Front no front teeth is yeah. That's tough, man. It's tough. But is it? You you don't even know the story though. Like you might want to know the story. Like I said, is he a big hockey guy? He that's their look. He was African American, and I don't believe they're allowed on the ice. Okay, now was he? All right, okay. well, that's I a fair that's point. We edit right. There's nothing. That's nope. There's nothing wrong okay, with that. Okay. 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 No, I don't know. Stereotypes I, exist. That's for what reason. I heard. Yep. I heard they're not. I don't know anything. Now, about could yeah. it, now a lot of times, again, this is this isn't a black white thing or Asian no. thing. This is just whatever. Sometimes, in certain cultures, when they're missing teeth, it could be a crack thing. Yes, he wasn't though. He was very. <laughs> he was a robust looking. You smoke man. crack, you lose teeth. Yeah, but he was. You, a you lose teeth he, when you smoke. He crack. was a robust. Science. He was a yeah. robust looking man. Robust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that word. He was robust. He was muscular. Yeah. Big, strong. Uh, so you uh, can't do crack. Nice if you guy. Work out? I don't think that's what it was. I think he got probably punched or fell on a rock because he's a spastic like decoy. Weird. Wow. That's Sorry, weird. Dude. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, that's weird. Wait, he was massaging you. No, he was a masseuse, and so was my friend. Ah, take that okay. option. That, that <laughs> third one down makes you feel sick. Yeah, it's a tough one. God, teeth, man. Teeth are no joke, right? Dude, I, if you're a dude, you got bad teeth. Chicks, what for whatever reason, will still deal yeah. with it if you're successful. Yeah. If you're a chick with bad teeth, you are game set match. Yeah, it's, it's done, over. Man. It's done. It's, it's over. Yeah, I'm pretty bad with that too, man. If you have fucked up feet too, and you're a woman, oh, you're a foot guy. Yeah, it's it's done. Dude, it's just done. big, big if you feet. Got the, if you got the big knuckle on the side, the the bunion. Oh, yeah. oh you're talking about bunions? Yeah, the and bunion corns? or even the t the, t the corns. The corns. Uh huh. Uh, why do they call them corns? Do you, you know they look I, like corns. Do you know what a murderer's thumb is? You know the thumbs. You're the, talking about the 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 one that goes all the way back? No, I'm this is a hitchhiker the, thumb. The, the, the oh, where it's cut. Yeah, the where it's round, half. the shitty thumb. What do you yeah. mean? What do you mean? Bring it up. Bring up. I think it's called murderer's thumb. I because know what you're talking about. You and I have hitchhiker thumbs, right? Do you? We do. What do you, you have? Look at see those. I got, see, I got yeah, see that. Thumb, you see that thumb? Which one? Are you Which looking? one? It's a half thumb. Which one? It's like it's right there. Yeah, it's a it's a half thumb. See right there? Yeah. Oh, how it's wide and flat. Yeah, yeah. it looks like his presto. Yeah, show yeah. another picture of it though, because it, it it throws me off, Tad. It really does. It's like whoop boy. It looks like a big toe. It looks, it like, looks like, like a big, big fucking toe. toe. Yeah, it looks like a it looks like a, it looks like a bit right there. Yeah, you got a big toe right there on your thumb. I have a problem. I have a problem. If a woman has that. Oh, dude. <laughs> so weird. I can't. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> I, I'm I'd done. I'd rather have bad teeth. I, there was a girl I, I thought was so <laughs> hot, I, and she had that, and I went, oh, thank God. Because I was like, I didn't think she liked me, and I was like, oh, I was trying, and then I saw the thumbs, and I went, ah, oh, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I, I remember I was uh, with this girl, and cute, right? And, and I'm just like, I hope she likes me. And at the end of the night, she goes, you're so nice, and put her hand on my face, and I'm just like, <laughs> what the fuck? Is Shit. that on your hand? <gasps> Her thumb. The big toe thumb. It was the big, it was just the biggest. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. Uh, yeah. I wide and flat. Well, that's like dating. I went on a date with this girl who was on the Canadian national water polo team. Yeah. And she was so hot, but strong and muscular. You know, I like a muscular girl. Yeah. You like yeah. cock, dude. I like yeah, cock. Yeah. And she had a big cock. But I, when I, when I, we, she laced her hands in mine. Yeah. And her hands were as big and thick as mine. Yeah. Like her knuckles. Oh, were well, big. remember our friend at the Laugh Factory? He was like, dude, meet this girl I'm dating. Oh, oh cool. Oh, yeah. She goes to shake my Beautiful hand. Beautiful girl, too. In golf, smile, I go. She was a regular size. I didn't even girl. know what to say. I yeah. just went, nice to meet you. Regular size. She girl. walked away. I looked at my friend. Dude. Yeah, he looks at me. He goes, Her hands what? are seven times the size of mine. No. This isn't going to work. Small woman. Wait, and you have big hands. Uh, big palms. Yeah. So she, she had fucking, bigger hands than you. Oh, dude. She fucking. She just had. She, had, she was small, though. Very yeah. pretty. She and And she had giant mitts. <laughs> fucking mitts. I went, she How went, do you not notice that? He goes, yeah. Oh, my God. You're right. I go, Go, go put your hand next to hers, yeah. dude. Yeah. She, and then you look high fiver high fiver when you said that to me you go did you see her hands and i Insane. go hi how are you and i shook i was like <gasps> my hand went away <laughs> joe if you're a foot guy cat gets hit up non-stop to post picture of feet. feet people pay her for pictures oh of her for the feet. feet asians usually have nice feet though yeah asian women have nice feet they yeah. usually have the the little toenail on the small toe, right? I'm not you really have, a, you I'm have not, a full toenail. I have on the a small toe. toenail. Yeah. Full toenail. Yeah, my, I dated my, a girl that painted the skin there, oh, and I and I caught onto it later on. I'm like, this is there's fake. no nail there, huh? <laughs> 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 yeah. 
you're paying. There's you're no paying nail the skin. Huh? Yeah. Something not on that, huh? A long time ago. Now well, they lose it. it because of the for the heels. No yeah, the so the nail just fell off. I mean, my nail's not great. It's I, you're barely a dude. There. You're supposed to have dude feet. Yeah, you're right. Dude are supposed to have dude feet. Yeah. Chicks are not supposed to have dude feet. I'm sorry. Well, I feel like are only Asian girls have cute feet this? though. Asians always have cute. Feet. Are you a foot guy? Yeah, I'm a foot guy. Ah oh, man, 100. percent yeah. If you have a you play your cards foot, right, maybe Kat will show you a picture. Out. But I think sometimes if you're from like if you're of Dutch <laughs> extraction Engine. or you're a big Germanic woman, <laughs> yeah. sometimes they can be hot and then you look down and they've got fucking what Flappers. I call large understanding. They have some big feet. Like the big toes and those long toes. Like yeah. you see a girl and you're like, wait a minute, that's a giant big toe. Yeah. And you've got your your middle toe is extending. You're talking, way about, you're talking about the E. T. It looks like ET. Correct, thing. sir. It's longer. You than are the correct, rest. sir. It's antenna. Do Bring that up. My big. Yeah, the long second toe. Yeah, it's very, yeah. Most people's are longer, though. I feel like I'm forgiving. I'm I'm be. more forgiving. Really? If you're really hot, I can deal no. with your feet. Oh, but. if you're really hot, I'm. Yeah, bad teeth. If you're really hot, you don't have to have feet. I don't know, man. I'll, it helps. Oh. That's gotta go. That's got to go. You know what? That go. might be a picture of my feet. My, that's how my yeah. feet look. Yeah, you yeah, but you're a dude. I know, but still, it's not good. My, you know, I'm a little conscious of my big toe. It's so big is it it's so we big see it or no i mean i guess Show i feel like take my shoes <laughs> off is it, is it because of fighting <laughs> oh, no it's because oh, of life no, that's, 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 that's not right that's not that's what happens that's when your foot gets cut off in traffic and it's flipping off the the other car jesus yeah. christ go ahead and take that off <laughs> um yeah yeah my big toe's so big man it's just wide you know really? i have flintstone feet do you have fat feet? I have fat feet. Mine's fat and wide, yeah. That's what she said. Have you yeah, seen yeah. people who wear, who've never worn Look shoes, See, And then I don't understand that. Oh, my, dude. <laughs> girls, I didn't do. Like, why are you wearing sandals wear and your feet hanging over the top? Over the Get top, the fuck out of my face. Go home. Get, 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 <laughs> we don't have sandals. Get on. socks. <laughs> Just wear something with socks. You can't wear sandals where they fucking ha no. hang no. hanging over on. the top. Like, like your, your, your shoes are on a ride for your foot. Yes. And it's hanging on. What are you, a fucking a human eagle? And it's yeah. work. What are you? And it's work. What are you grabbing oh. the shoes? Yeah, and it's work because your feet have to really work this. You can hear what well, you can hear it dragging along I hate the it. ground. I hate it when they wear sexy heels and it's got the webbing, you know, the, the leather webbing that goes across all the feet, and then the oh. pinky toe comes out oh, bitch. of the web. Please. It comes out of the web yeah, like it's that. Like, it's the lonely bird out yeah, to the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, it's just chilling. Like like it, it's just looking out like that. Or I or, like through oh. a bush. It's looking like lonely, not Jim, without bring friends. Up, bring up like feet that have never worn shoes. But like, but but also <laughs> but also I hate when girls like whether it's fucking Louis Vuittons or whatever, and they're they love them, and their feet are fucking oh, sandwiched nash. in, and they're red. Yeah, they're red because yes. they can't fucking breathe. Yes. Yeah, they're being chased. That's those, not sexy. Those are the no. feet. Those are feet that have never worn shoes. Those are how. Oh, those are my feet. Yeah, those are how go. your feet. That's should how be. my feet look. Look at that. That's my big toe. Wow. What the fuck and my is son that? has the exact. That's from same never feet. wearing shoes, and your feet just have a chance to breathe, and they get wide yeah, and paddle like. Get, yeah, they get. You look like a fucking man duck. Yeah. Oh, look at Jesus that guy. Christ. I'm telling you, bro, these are what my feet look like. Oh. That's going to be me. And you didn't break your foot ever kicking? I, I broke my big toe kicking. <sighs> you did? Oh, my God. Not in fighting. Is it over with after um, you break your big toe? Um, yep, kind of over. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, well, these just deformed. That's a club though, foot. Huh? Um, yeah, we don't need to form at least. That. It gets, it's getting that. sad now, Chin, for God's right, sakes. Yeah. <laughs> I broke my big toe, not fight. Never broke my toes fighting. I broke my toe um, playing kickball in. Uh, Middle school, nice. Yeah, not a story you want to tell anybody. Blew it up, boom! Blew what? Up. Jesus! Yeah, because I I was in a sling at the time, and we we're playing dodgeball, and of course I lasted the longest as me versus like three kids, and so I was like, well, I can't. Well, I just wasn't throwing. I was in the back dodging, and then the the whole fucking class is watching. We're playing in a wrestling room. I don't forget this, and someone yells kick it because i didn't have shoes on I'm like oh yeah i can't throw so i'm gonna kick it to these kids out so i line it up everyone's go brandon brandon i'm like this is me so fucking sick let's do this i go to kick and my i kick as hard as i can my hit hits the, the oh fucking, my god instead of the ball hits the ground oh. it just goes oh and by nail it just poof, compound fracture that's like a, oh, oh remember yeah. john jones foot after his fight yeah it's not like that because i had a compound fracture the worst of any kind Compound yeah. femur fracture. No, you did not. Yeah. Ooh, that's a tough one to do. When? I'd show you, but I don't have underwear on. <laughs> when? I'll show you. Motorcycle? Motorcycle. Do you don't wear undies? Be careful of a motorcycle. I got, I got the long underwear. Look at this. You can actually see it. You, you're going to have to take your pants off. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you're going to have to take your pants off. And what happened? And what happened? Did it? Did oh, it? Sure? I yeah. promise. Cat signed an NDA. 
I did. Yep. I oh, promise. Wait. Oh, hold on, hold on. shit. Oh, damn. Dude, it's like a shark bite. I want to get him. Oh Dude, that. Touch the bone. Touch it, right? Go all the way down. Touch it. All the way. Oh. <laughs> my dick. Doctor. Oh. Doctor, that's my dick. Let me taste. <laughs> dude, that's uh, that's like a straight up shark bite stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. How did it happen, dude? Uh, motorcycle. I was. Uh, I, I got, called it. Uh, I got <laughs> hit. Got hit by another motorcycle. Standard. Coming down a trail, Standard. and I knew it too. I knew it. I knew something bad was about to happen. I was hitting it. Came around like a turn, and then another bike just hit me head on. You're like triple X, dude. That's cool. Yeah, man. I, I think it broke on contact. Hold on, and when motorcycle I hit, ground, hit your leg. I think I think he broke my leg. Yep. And then when I hit the ground, that's when it came out. Did you, did you go? Oh, did you oh, pass it came out? out of your? Oh yeah, it was compound. Jesus. Uh, it stuck out this far. Uh, did, did you, you pass you? out from the pain? No, I couldn't. And they Way wouldn't to let go, me sleep. Body. And they pulled it. They pulled it right. They, they, I was the uh, they, uh, so I, I had I had a broken tibula fibula too. See, this is all burnt. Fuck, See that? Bro. Jesus Christ! Hey, just not motorcycle. Motorcycle. Yeah, no, forget right? motorcycles. Yeah, don't. I don't know why people drive them. I don't get it. You fucking idiot! There's so many. You're other gonna people. die. Well, it's I'll, not even your fault. It's always someone it's always else's someone else. Fault. It's always the driver. My buddy. My buddy is the doctor of the catastrophic injury institute in West Virginia Hospital. Nice. I walk through those hallways. Everyone who's paralyzed who will never walk again. Every single one that I saw mm. or brain dead. Motorcycle, ATV. ATVs really? are the worst because they fall on you, they bounce and, oh, yeah. and you flip over. On top of you. Fucking one after another. I was like, oh, make those illegal or make a cage around them. Don't have ATVs without a cage. Like, it's so crazy without a roll bar. You're like, w and these kids don't know. They go too fast like we always do. Boom, bump. The thing goes, shoot, and, they, and, and it, it falls It crushes off. them. And that's the end. It's so, so that was your yeah. last day on a motorcycle, yeah? Yeah, that was the last time. Fuck, that's a yeah, bad injury, they, they dude. They stuck a pin, a triangle pin through this this bone and pulled it with weights. And I literally, to go to the bathroom, I had to pull it myself <clears throat> take it off. How old were you at this time? 14. I turned 15 in the hospital. <sighs> at least you were young, I guess. That's why when I'm on the freeway, I always pull to the side when I see a bike. I always pull over and make way yeah. for them. Yeah. Because I don't want to be... I. I don't want to. I don't even want to see them crash, even if it's not my fault. Oh, it's yeah. so if I can just get out of the way and not see it, because they're driving like assholes anyway. Yeah, they're flying down the two lanes, splitting cars. It's so dangerous. I don't know there's, there's, why they do it. And and I and here's the thing. I I'm telling I'm telling your viewers right now. If you're on a motorcycle, I lane change without a blinker. So I just want you to know that. Most people do. I'm the worst fucking lane changer. Yeah. So if you're going to come and down. And this isn't a racial thing. I'm not. Look. Oh, <laughs> but if you're going to come down at, at, at 65, 70 miles per hour on, uh, uh, during rush hour. Yeah. Down two c lanes of cars. <laughs> I, I just want Fuck. you to know. I change without my arrows. I, I so do you're too. probably going to hit me one day. Yeah. And here's the thing. I'm going to. Yeah. So most Sometimes I'm in my giant truck. I won't even you feel won't even it. You won't feel it, bro. I just keep going. Oh, yeah. man. I do feel it, and it turns me. <laughs> Sorry, no, but um, yeah, motorcycles. So motorcycles dangerous, are just like. But so when it's dead stop traffic and they're going down the center, that's I'm what like, I'm talking about. I'm like sometimes like God, I wish I was that guy. I'm talking to a guy. <laughs> I'm talking to a guy. Tell me, he was on that guy's going to be in Ontario in 15. That minutes. guy's going to beat me to the valley in yeah. 30 minutes. Um, yeah. I'm talking to this guy and his buddy. They were they were riding motorcycles, and a dude drove by them at night. It was late at night. Shot him with a 22. What? Shot him right through the fucking, it, the bullet went, made a clean, I guess went through his like back, but hit him in a non-vital area right through. Okay. He's driving and he goes like this. He goes, oh, I've been shot. The guy just came out, boom, like that. And gang shot him like gang that. activity? It was just a random thing. They were on a highway and like- Not buying it. Just driving. In random? Fucking, yeah. Gang activity. And some activity. psycho, some psycho was like- <laughs> Oh my God. And I had another guy tell me that sometimes you never know when somebody's going to try to run you off the road. There are yeah. psychos who just go, nobody's watching. Woo! <laughs> Uh -uh. And they get off on it. Mm -mm. I, I just can't mm -mm. imagine riding a motorcycle. Mm -mm. It's yeah. stupid. Well, I'll tell you what's fucking stupid is I take Topanga Canyon or Laurel Canyon to yeah. come here every day. There's guys on I'm not not motorcycles, bike bikes. <gasps> oh, and I'm how like about these ones. How about you the ones fucking, when you're like this? And you you're, morons, yeah. move out like, and they're backing up traffic. That's I'm like, crazy. dude, what the fuck? So is so like, all right, see ya. Yeah, yeah. Like, makes me so mad. What are you doing? Go on another trail. This isn't the also, Tour de France. Yeah, are you getting? Paid to wear that? Yeah. Why are you dressed like? Why that? are you dressed like Lance Armstrong right Correct. now? Correct. Are you competitive? Why is there a team of you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> why is there a team? Why is there ten of you? Why are you guys drafting? 
Yeah, I don't. Why are you drafting for speed? You're still the slowest fucking people on the it's road. It's insane. Share Whether the you road. Draft or not. Share the Share road. Share the yeah. road. Get Fuck out of here. You. Hey, get out of here. Unless you have a mo- motor, suck it. Yep. Yep. Fucking. Bullshit. Every day I deal with them, man. Yeah. That's bullshit. If I, you're on our roads, if people that drive cars pay for those roads. That's our road. It's taxes. If you're, if you're if you're riding a bike, you are you are borrowing our road. Here's the other thing that though. you don't have the right to that road. Go Joe, fuck yourself. Here's the other thing. So they want to be like, oh, we're part of the road. We're just like cars. But then when it comes to stop signs they, and lights, they just fucking coast yep, through, yeah, don't they? Yeah. Yep. So you're not like a, you know what does not. embarrass me too though. And you're entitled. On a Sunday morning when you see those groups of yeah. bikers. Yeah. Who decide they're gonna relive the glory days? And well, you're, you're talking about gang. real biker gangs. Yeah, not, they, not real biker. But gangs. the boys, the older like, like yeah, dads, the older I mean, dads, and they're yeah. like, yeah. and now they have the bandana, standard and like, Harley, and they have like American flag, and just a group of them, and yeah. they're just gonna ride. Yeah, and I'm they blast like, the music. Yeah, bah, yeah, bah, 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 yeah, bah, bah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and, and, uh, and they take off, and it's like, guys, just so you know, we're fucking, we're, we're still keeping it real. Yeah, I'm one of those guys. At least be I want to be one of those guys. <laughs> One of them is a, 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 an accountant. Oh, oh they're most, all accountants. They're most accountants. Yeah, yeah. If you're an outlaw. A GM yeah. at a, like a warehouse. So, sometimes you don't know. Sometimes wow. you get those kind of the old fuck boy groups, right? Dad yeah. fuck boys. Yeah. But then there's some real ones too. Well, don't fuck Where I'll be like, ones. God, look at these morons. And then you'll see like Mongols, Mongols on the back. I'm like, Hell's oh, Angels. No, no, no. Yeah. no, no, no. But there's another group called Loki or I just, just something like away. that. Or they're the... Uh, there's a I can't remember what the name of them, but they're they're like a, I saw them in Vegas. I was like, okay. Uh, There's some bad boys. Yeah, and they looked at me and they're like, Vag- the Vagos. Yeah, those. Oh guys, yeah, don't they're, fuck they're down at Venice all the time. They're, yeah, I, I don't want any trouble. I don't think you should be in a gang when you're in the age like 30. I think gang is done. Yeah, yeah. if you're a crip and you're over 40, yeah, you know what? Time to grow up. Baby. Yeah, it's done. Time to grow up. It's done. You, you can wear other signs? colors now. Yeah, we're all the colors you want. Look we're all the colors. Look at Yellow's a good color. Look at that Motley. It's not like this anymore. Look at that Motley assortment, though. At least they live it. Yeah, they live it. Just it, you know, I'm I'm with Joe. A little embarrassing, though, at that age. It's a little. That, look at that guy arrested with the hands and the tattoos behind his back. Yeah, I'm too old, bro. You're too old for that. You probably got kids. What yeah. Are we doing? What are you doing? You wear a, a sleeveless leather vest. Yeah. Stop. I don't know. They gotta can, stop, man. Part of it is just that they've had they've lived in a life of crime for so long. I yeah. know, but one day they wake up at 50 and they go, oh, I got to toss on a leather vest. Leather vest. Where? Hey, honey, where's my oversized uh, dicky shorts? <laughs> you shouldn't be saying that at the age of 40. Hey, honey, where's my bandana and sleeveless vest? I'm not, hey, where's my corduroy house slippers and high socks? I want to go on record and <laughs> what say. What the fuck? I want to go on record and say, I'm not making fun of any biker guys. You guys got it. <laughs> I know. Though. I, oh, and I, you know what? I'm going to go on record and say, I don't approve of this. And <laughs> You're such a pussy. I don't, I don't approve of this. You're such a pussy. You apologize. are a pussy, though. I want to apologize to my no, I'm just saying, can you imagine being... 50 and doing that it's what are you doing well, you probably don't have a choice you're in it honey do we grease up the hide? what, what we, are you in no you in definitely it. have a choice at 50. you have a choice a lot of years went by where i went i'm gonna go this way well you're you got to be down for the cause but you know what's crazy about those biker guys they lost track of time <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, I mean, 50. call back, Joe. I don't know, uh. Joe. I don't know what you're talking. about <laughs> I'm just saying, those guys lost track of they time. Lost the, they lost that. They lost track of time right there. Did you know, biker gangs started especially after Vietnam. Yeah, that's the Angels. Right. Well, guess oh, what, man? Wow. Dude, I'm 19. Yeah, man. What are we doing? Yeah. Okay, guys, keep talking. <laughs> no, I like <laughs> Hell's Angels, dude. Uh, the Mongols are no joke. Either. Well, the Hell's Angels came to my show, and they're like, "Dude, you want to come to?" <laughs> I did this, the biggest guy I've ever you know I've been around at this hell's angel was so big and scary and all of them line up for the meet and greet I'm like oh well this isn't good the nicest guys yeah, great. and then they're all drunk and the guy goes hey man we'll we own the strip club up the up the block you want to come I swear to God he goes all the birds are sucking off the boys <laughs> That's, I would have been like, I would have hey, been like, the yes. birds, the birds are sucking off the boys. Yeah. I went, all right, man. It was just right up the street. Just Google it. You'll find it, man. Come up there. Ask for me. I went, no doubt. I will see you there. What's his name? Do you remember or no? No. no let's let's not say his name. Let's oh, say dude, his name. I'm talking this motherfucker. This is in Minnesota. No joke. Big. And oh, yeah. all the boys were there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. The birds. The yeah, birds. Thought, these poor birds, birds were full. These poor birds. First of all, birds, I got the, oh, I'll the tell birds you this, got all they could handle. I'll tell you this right now. Big boys. You walk they, in, first yeah. of all, those guys, you don't just get into the Hells Angels without being a certain kind of badass. And also, girls like those guys. They yeah. Guys no, like those guys. Those guys like those guys. They oh, got dude, no I problem. was intimidated for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, my God. These are some gnarly oh, dudes. Oh, yeah. They're out. Like, we're a different breed. Yep. I'm not... Yeah. I'm not yep. into this. And, yeah. And ladies, the ladies. Like, I'd be on the back colors, of, that guy it. was so big, I'd be on the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Brendan, Brendan's got a Get him, Bruno. Friend. Like, Bruno, where's these Brendan, birds you at? you fought in the UFC. Hey, by birds, do you mean boys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this bird's hungry, too. <laughs> hey, don't forget about the boy bird. <laughs> <laughs> the boy bird. Don't boy forget about the boy bird. Boy birds are people, too. <laughs> <laughs> it is San Francisco. Oh, no, you were in Minnesota. Minnesota, dude. Wow. Yeah, it was a gnarly fucking patch there dude yeah that's a badass no i'm not i, fucking I, I tell bikers. you that, i'm not fucking i'm not with fucking bikers, with me either man. no hell no i'm scared of them what? i'm terrified of them uh joko made fun of their vests hey but did you yeah, um dude, you know yeah, you made fun of them i don't know but i jumped on it too i jumped on it too call me a bird i'll be a bird i'll be, I'll your be bird. a bird a couple I'll of birds bird. hey hell's angels did, did I tell i'm you? a bird i'm a bird bro I'm a bird, bro did Ka -ka! i Ka -ka! Ka -ka! you're not an attractive bird that's a crow a bird, bro. And nobody bird, wants to fuck bro. you. Nobody wants Pull you. Pull your worms out. Daddy's hungry. Nope, nobody wants. Oh, no. That's not. That's not. I don't think it's not attractive at all. Just line them up, man. One hell's angel at a time, bro. Nobody's interested. Two bird. at a time. Daddy's hungry. Is it a buffet? Bird bukkake, man. Woo! Bird bukkake. <laughs> <laughs> Smothered and covered. Treat my face like Waffle House. <laughs> you guys like Waffle House? Joe, I don't think Gather like around. No. Set my circle. No, dude. Like Let's go, man. Get your motors running. <laughs> Get your motors. Ka -ka! Ka -ka! I just smack each one on the ass and my face is just covered. Yeah. And go me, get them, guys. And like a, like a Cinnabon. Like a fucking Joe, Cinnabon. Joe, be a sexier bird. Try a different, try a different chirp. Choo choo! Oh, oh well, that's worse. That's than better. That's better. Choo choo! Choo choo! No, not choo choo. That's getting me hard. Choo choo! Choo choo! Just say tweet tweet. I can't. Tweet tweet! Oh yeah, there it is. Say it tweet again. tweet! Yeah, now just come the gays. Time to feed the you bird. You guys are crazy. Yeah. Feed the bird. Open up. Uh, 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 yeah, there you are. Yeah, uh, Mama Bird's I'm, here. I'm tweeting like crazy right now. <laughs> tweet tweet! I'm so full. When he was going. Kick he couldn't get any, but when he started tweet tweeting, yeah. he was when I tweeting. Uh, hey, did he I tell you that when uh, Shane Carwin and I were going to do an appearance at Colorado Springs, and the sheriff from the police department goes, "Oh, well, there's a bounty. There's a there's a biker rally here with Hell's Angels and all the other dudes." And they go, "There's a it, we, we we got word that there's a bounty that uh, one of the like the the muscle for the Hell's Angel, any anyone who can find Shane Carwin and fist fight and beat him up gets like a." A shitload of money. Mm. You know, so you boys shouldn't come, man. You should cancel your appearance. What? Yeah, he goes because they know UFC fighters coming to town, and you know, and they, just, they they step up to the challenge. Enjoy that challenge mm. against Shane Carwin. Well, yeah, that, uh, Shane Carwin would give him a beating. But what's cool I is that home. I bet you those. I bet you though. I bet you would be I a fair fight. Home. I bet you that guy would be like, "Let's go." And if he lost, he lost. Oh, I don't think so, Brian, because they're Hell's Angels. Yeah. Right. So Brian would probably start whooping. I'm sorry. Uh, Shane Carter probably start whooping the ass and went, dude, check this out. Shank in the back. Now <laughs> yeah. fight. Oh, I'm saying. Okay. Oh, fear fight. Are you are you talking about the guys that smuggle billions of dollars of drugs into this country? Yeah. Fear Excuse fight Wait, and murder say? people? I don't know what you're talking about, about that. Look at how big Shane is. Look at how he's right there with, with Brock Lesnar. And look at Rogan. Look at Rogan's face. <laughs> Wow, Rogan was like, weird there. I thought he was going to win that fight, man. Oh, he, he was, was winning it. He was. He was I thought he was going to win he that fight. Out. He's man. winning it. You were in his corner for that, right? Uh, well, I walked out with him, but I was not one of his corner men. Was up. that exciting to watch? Well, uh, cuz I fought uh, Brock Lesnar, so the way they paired it, Shane Lesnar fought then Shane's basically training partner and best friend fought Brock Lesnar's training partner and best friend, Chris Tushisher. So, it was my second fight in the UFC and this Chris Tushisher character had 30 he was like 30 and one jesus bring that up let me see the, the face off with brendan and tushers good his yeah. last name i knocked him out you're such a beast brendan yeah. i was watching he some is. old shit of you yeah yeah he's fucking it's crazy to hear your your stories uh, uh chris his name was chris tush let's Look just do shane. that shane is such a it might come up yeah there it is the far left one Damn, dude, you were a beat. You no, look like a different person. Now, he, now he's not going to win any bodybuilding contest, but he was a tough <laughs> dude. 
Yeah, thirty fights. Fuck. What was your What was your go to punch, man? You're right. Overhand yeah. right. Yeah. Overhand right. That's what yep. that is. It's a good. Sh- look at that shit. Boom. Mm hmm. And then that's me dusting off my shoulder. Second row, fourth picture in. That's after I knocked him off. I dusted off my shoulder like an asshole. Oh, that's cool, man. <laughs> was well, you had shit kid. on your shoulder, though. I did have bird shit on my shoulder. Cocky kid. Kaka! Cocky Kaka! kid. You're cocky kid. Confident. Big difference. You Confident. knocked this guy out, and soon after, you're blowing a Hell's Angel. Yeah. How I'm cool is sucking that? Hell's you're Angel dick. You're sucking you Hell's bird. And I got, a, I got a shirt that says Prospect on the back. <laughs> Big kid. Is it hard to look at those pictures? A little bit, yeah. Really? Yeah, I don't like rims. I've never been a guy who reminisces on old times. Yeah. At all. I'm trying to sell out Brea. I'm trying to come up with new, you know. I yeah, yeah. You ain't got time for that. I don't care. Yeah. I actually shut down when people talk to me about it. Like, there's nothing worse. I don't mind this. There's yeah. nothing worse. A comedy store, if I'm talking, someone's like, dude, and brings up a fight. I'm like, dude, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no time for that. Yeah, this, wrong man. environment. Yeah, please, no. That's crazy, man. I, I I mean I cover some fighting but not nowhere near. I feel like, like it was I a high to. stress time for you all the time, right? Like all the time. You know what I mean? Super stressed. Like, I knew him when he was fighting, and and uh, <clears throat> like the emotional stress, the constant looming I- idea that you're gonna have to fight somebody. Yeah, that's gotta suck. I here's one question. This is it always. You this, get a free pass. Okay, man. this is the one question that always that that I've always wanted to ask. How angry do you get when your opponent doesn't make weight? I was heavyweight, so it was never an issue. Oh, there's no issue. Yeah, I mean, you can't be over 265. Yeah. I think I fought, uh, let's see, Roy had to make 65. Um, uh, Tusher had to make 65. I fought a guy named uh, LeVar Johnson, who's in prison now, I think, for trying to kill his wife. But he could have won Olympia. And he was so jacked on steroids. You even said he had to make Dana, 65. didn't you? Like, you know, oh, he's on we, steroids. I think you get during the way off, we're weighing off, and I go, and they, and they we go to shake hands i look at dana and uh i think it was uh, joe silver that i go well we all know he's on steroids yeah and then he failed the steroid test after i beat him <laughs> that's him there talk well you want to talk about biker gangs oh yeah that was the muscle i forget which biker gang that, and, him him so check this knocking out knocking everybody out <clears throat> knocking everybody so out. he was on like a six fight win streak knockout knocked out everybody so he just knocked out pat barry then they give him to me right <sighs> but so we're in the lot we're in the the like the hotel lobby after the fight i'm there with my family first time my uncle pat seen me fight so my whole family's there and this is after i beat him and he walked wasn't happy he kept saying i didn't fight him because i kept grappling kept taking him down i think i took him down like 14 times some shit like that and on the ground he'd go why don't we get up and give people a show? Why don't we fucking, why don't we bang, bro? And I'm like, why don't you learn jujitsu? And I just kept fucking <laughs> wrestling him. So he was pissed after the fight. He's like, you didn't want to fucking fight. I'm like, all right, whatever. I won. Get my check. We're back at the hotel. And all the, like, some of the fighters there, but I'm there with my whole family. Like, family, family. Mom, brother. Yeah. Fucking my uncle, who I love. My dad's there. Everyone's there. Yeah. He walks in with all the biker gang. I hit my brother. I go, hey, get ready to go. He goes, what do you want? I go, get ready to go. They're like, this, that's a gnarly dude. And his biker buddies come up to me, and they're roasting him. And they come up to me and go, dude, you can fucking fight. Shook my hand and bought me a drink. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And, then I, and then I sucked him off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why I left You and your off. brother just. <laughs> my brother. <laughs> I, 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 I feel like Put anybody. In I, I feel like any of those guys has to. Motorcycle. They, always respect you because you're, you're in the cage. You got yourself there, and you're in it. I mean, how do you, how do you disparage a dude? Ooh. Yeah, but that was their boy, and I didn't like. I didn't. I didn't because he was such a powerful hitter. I had oh so much power on the ground. He hit so hard. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna take him down. His, yeah. It was like he so. Was, I, I was afraid there. I'm like, dude, you're a pussy. And like in my face. And I'm there with my family. Yeah, you only got one person that's kind of got your back. Your brother definitely your has brother my have, back. My yeah, bro- yeah, my brother's tougher than me. What was yeah. he sentenced to? It says uh, I think life or what? No, no, I don't. I don't think life. Just and here's the other thing. Terrible person with his wife. To me, my engagement with him amazing dude yeah. really nice really i mean did all the steroids when i fought him yeah so that's not cool yeah but still was friendly so you got a hefty sentence um oof. what did he really hurt poorly him? punched and slammed his girlfriend great bodily injury keeps scrolling down does it say how long he got 10 years 10 years oh shit uh yeah, he johnson he plead not guilty of the charge but then switch his set stance when a full sentence of over 10 years put on the table, he asked the judge for mercy. Um, so he's given five because they were going to... I'm sorry. Is it like anything else, Brandon? He sounds like he's a complicated guy, right? Really nice to you, but has a dark side that he loses control of. Uh, what do you mean anybody else? No, I don't understand that. 
What? What do you mean like anybody else? No, I mean, I'm saying he can be, he, when you're hanging out with him, I'm sure he's a really nice guy. Oh, sociopath. Well, or, 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 or just a fucking, sometimes nice, other times dark side, loses control, fucks you up. Well, I don't know people like that. There are people like that. I, I, I don't engage with any, I have no friends like that. There are people Ooh. like that. Yeah, saying. that yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah, but in general, no. Receives five year sentence for the brutal assault of his girlfriend. Dude, you know, he must have so five, <laughs> hold on, five years? You know how much Greg Hardy got? You know how much these other guys that beat the fucking women got? Oh, Greg Hardy got zero, sir. Because the, the, cause he scared the defendant away. So they didn't get he a case. Did? Yes. <sighs> I think he tried to do that too, right? Uh, I don't know. Jesus. What the fuck? Five years for being up? You know how bad you have to be with a woman to get five years? Bad. Well, also, when you come out and that's your charge, it's hard to get a job. Oh. Uh, oh, you, oh, no. You think he's going to work in the real world? No, he's a biker gang B. Yeah, he's that's not going to apply at Subway. I see. I see. A real biker gang man, in other words. Oh, no. Oh, Bob. Oh, God. What do you think yeah. I was talking about? Like fucking uh, yeah. Sunday fun day biker? No, yeah. not real shit, man. And real shit. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. I got you. Yeah, okay. like Mongol Hell Angels type of That's thing. That's him. Okay, okay. Yeah. Fuck Re- legit tough dude, man. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm just more athletic. I'm not tougher than him. I'm Wait, just more he athletic. was in trouble in 2007 for a separate domestic mm-hmm. abuse incident, serving 30 days in jail and having to undergo alcohol counseling. He was among five people shot in Bakersfield in 2009 during a family gathering, which left one member of his party dead. Fuck. He, it's so he was, well, it's he was in critical fun. condition and had to have his appendix removed. He was able to recover and resume his fighting career. Wow. He has a huge scar on his stomach. That really, really long one. He came out the gate super hot in the UFC, like knocked out Pat Barry, I think Chuck Congo, like it's amaz- amazing fights. Uh, maybe Stefan Struve. And then he started, once people figured him out, then he, he went on. I forget, bring up his record chin. Yeah, look at that scar. Damn. Yeah. He definitely didn't fuck those girls on the back. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring up his yeah, it's against her will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He definitely had to hold him down and choke him and fuck their face. Uh, where are we at here? <laughs> Oh, so yeah, there you go. So yeah, he went on a rough skid there. So I got him after he lost to Stefan Struve, but I didn't come off that. So he came into the UFC. Yeah, so he knocked out two guys. He knocked out Joey Beltron, beat Pat Barry, and then lost to Struve via armbar. And that's when I figured out he couldn't wrestle. Mm-hmm. And then they gave me him. And then he went on. Uh, it got rough for him after that. Guys were like, oh, we got it. But he's a tough dude. Yeah, a lot of fights. Yeah, I hate talking about fighting, though. Oh. Yeah, it's not. Just kidding. Oh. What was the last fight you were in? Oh, uh, God. If there's one thing I hate worse than my fighting, it's his fight. <laughs> I mean, yeah, his in fights the, are... In the ring? In the ring? Just like in like a fight. I mix it up in the ring, bro. Do you mix it like up in the ring? Like a real street fight? You haven't. When do I, have you been in a fight? Chicago was the last fight I How was long in. ago was that? It's about 10 years ago. Yeah. Well, it's stupid. You know why? Because we're too grown. Yeah. What, no what happened? What happened? Uh, I forget, man. It was just stupid. Drunk. Steve Byrne got... Uh, how old are your kids? Broken. Uh, my son's sixteen. So he was six at the time. Yeah, he was six. Now, now that I have that's, kids, that's I, when I knew it was dumb. Yeah, now that I have kids, like I, I literally, I told you about this. Like a month ago, I had a meeting at CBS. And I was leaving. This guy cut out in front of me. I honked my horn. He slams on brakes, parks it, and gets out. And this guy looked like shit. Yeah, like <laughs> I'm talking every bit of. I don't like Bill, Bill, like that. Boxcar Willie, like a little. Oh, excuse. I mean, just yeah. looked like shit. Yeah. Like when they were giving Not out an ge- athlete. When they were giving out genetics, like mm-mm, mm-mm, back in line, but way yeah. back, way oh, even farther. Go back. We'll wait. Gets out of the car. How tall? He's all red. Excuse me. Five seven. <laughs> Five seven. Brian, completely out of shape. Obviously, he's having a rough day. Wants to fight. Hits you. my fucking hood of my uh, oh, car. What? And, I, and I'm coming out of a meeting with CBS. <laughs> And I'm like, there's no way this is happening. And and I just go, dude, you pull out in front of me. I'm just giving you warning, like, you're going to hit me. My car's going to just run over yours. He goes, fuck you, get out of the car. I'm like, oh, my God, is this really happening? And I got out of the car. I know. It's so weird. And I go, but what happened? I what go, do you do? what are you going to do, dude? Do you have a gun? If you don't have a gun, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And I can see he looks at me and he goes, fuck you, <laughs> Yeah. And, I, and yeah. I went, yeah, I know. Get back in your car. It was so awkward. I, I don't know. Who like, does there's that? so there's no upside. There's so yeah, I was I so embarrassed. I upside. was so embarrassed because there was out front of a restaurant. There are people there just watching. People had their phones out, and I'm like, "Well, I'm I'm a 
Damn. Yeah. Uh, and I shot me with CBS. Also, they there's no this? upside. And, and you, and there's no upside in any way. If you win, it's worse in some ways. Uh, I don't know. understand anyone that gets out of the car and challenges a fight to what's ever in that car. You need a dash. You don't even camera. know what's in that car. You know, no, no, that's, no. What? I that's know. like, hey, look. That's like me going up to a door and going, open up that door. Might be an alligator. Challenge. Yeah, it might, might be, be an, an alligator. alligator. It might be a lion. Who knows? Who knows? Take your chances. But so it's but, worth the fight. But my thing is, is you blocked me. I can't get out. He goes, get out of the car. I'm like, what the fuck is happening, dude? I was mad at myself. I got out of the car. I got out just to be like, dude, what? To talk like, what are you doing? So yeah. check this what out. The my, fuck my, you my, doing? my buddy, my buddy's hanging out with a guy, you know, and they're at a bar. And this guy is a a badass and kind of a bad guy. <laughs> and Fight, the fighter. Yeah, and but also just also like a guy who plays a little bit for keeps, a little bit off. So um, my buddy, who's a great guy, uh, they these two dudes, they for whatever reason started having words. The two guys go, uh, "Let's go outside." Yeah. And the guy who my friends with goes, "You want you want to both do this or what?" Mm -hmm. And they go, "Whatever you want, dude." He goes, "Okay, I'll be outside." And so my friend said, <laughs> the, when he went out to see what his he's like, I guess my friend's gonna fight these. Uh, he didn't know him very well, but he goes, he's actually taking martial arts class from him, and he goes. Uh, he comes outside, and these two dudes are kind of tough come out, and he's like, fuck, I don't know. He was really nervous. And you know what the dude was doing? He had this long, hooked blade. What dude? The, the fighter? The guy who was a fighter. He had a long, hooked blade. It was a long and serrated hook blade. And do you know what he was doing? He was picking his nails with it. <laughs> he wasn't looking at them. He was in the parking lot just going like that and getting the dirt from under his nails. That's great. He didn't do anything. He was just going like that. And the fucking two dudes went. They saw him, and they went, He's got a knife. Fuck this. He's got a knife. And they went right back inside the bar. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Didn't even that's look all you got to do. I'm just going to pick my nails with yeah. this knife. He would have obviously. from a movie, by I mean, the this way. is a guy who's going to play for keeps. This is a guy who plays for fucking keeps. Yeah. Dove Davidoff will tell you the story. Dove Davidoff took a class from him. Uh, a knife class. No, no, no one I know then. No. Oh. No. Not a UFC fighter, yeah. No, no, no. This is a different thing. This yeah, is this, a guy. This, this, this would be an older guy who's watched a ton of fighting. No, movies. this guy's uh he's not older. He was athletic and big and knew how to box and all that, but it's just a different but thing. But no professional background? Um I think he did. He fought Muay Thai in Thailand professionally, in fact. Is it different? And I know him? No, you don't know him. You know the guy who you know the guy who was with him. him. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I just want to say his name because he's a little scary. I met him a couple times and he's a little scary. He was a little like, uh, but of course he's scary. Well, of course, because he'll, he will he will quote unquote unzip you. That's what he called it. That's what he calls yeah, it? Yeah. He goes, well, I can unzip Or give you a zipper. Do you know what he said to me? What? He goes like this. Was he, he goes. Was he a former Hells Angel? No. He goes like this. He goes, he's, I was standing there and he, he said, <laughs> I'll never forget this. He goes, well, you don't need a blade more than, you know, I can take a three inch oh, blade. God. And he goes, and I could scribe your spine from the front scribe your spine what's a scribe meaning i could take a knife here this guy just, sounds kind of lame six dude inches and open you up this like guy this guy sounds kind of like a tool yeah uh he but he's kind of real too like he's one of those guys where you're like you're 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 but if someone went dude i'm gonna scribe you're unbalanced no, no no he just was explaining what a knife can do He was explaining what a knife can at do. dinner but why do you say scribe scribe but why is he spine? telling other dudes what the knife can do i'd be like all right, dude. Okay, so because my buddy was writing a book on, on knife fighting on survival, and one of the things was was what's the best weapon to have? One of the things would be a knife in a situation. Yeah. And then he looked into guys who actually were knife fighters who right. taught special forces guys all that stuff. So, and he's one of those guys whose the whole guy. life is he knows guns, he knows knives, he know he teaches tactical, you know, defense stuff. And I think he was ex-military, just a different guy. Scrum. Yeah. yeah. Scrum. Has he ever? scribe somebody though <laughs> probably that's not. my thing <laughs> probably not. you know what i mean know. like he knows the technical <laughs> probably term. Not. he's probably googled it has he really scribed anybody has it has, has anyone been on the ground he's like you fucking scribed me man <laughs> so 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 here's yeah, how that's your spine right there buddy <laughs> but but here's the that's your spine your scribe you is good you scribe ah oh, did i scribe you good but you know, you know what i felt you know what i felt from him I Fakeness? felt more that no, I felt like he was he might be a like he like I felt like there was a lie a fetish to the violence. Uh, like if I you're felt too like, into it, I felt like if you kill why, people, because you'd scribe. Yeah, like I felt if you do have a bunch of bodies in your basement, I wouldn't be surprised. That's kind of why I'm 
That's why I'm talking about. Boys like full this. of shit. You know what I'm saying? You know those 100%. guys. Full of There's shit. a lot of guys that are full of shit. 100%. And do that. 100%. Yeah. Could because most of the bad guys don't. They're, they're not, not going to give shit. you. No. They're not going to tip their hat. But he was no. kind of like that. They don't clean their yeah, nails. But, yeah, with but the but knife. if he but if he's telling you guys about well, it, well, the real you. sociopaths. I was with like a guy that. with him who was talking about it. So he wasn't he wasn't that kind of guy. He but he said scribe. He was a he, he was a rough character. He was rough. He looked like I I believe he. I believe that he might be a dude playing a dude playing another dude. Uh, but I believe in that situation he would have used that knife in, in, when he was picking yeah. his nails. I believe that that's what he would have done. He was going to use that knife. Were you I there when that happened that. though? No. no. See, well, I don't my buy friend it. was because this is how I it believe. goes. Real dark out, and the guys like this. No, no. no. This how thing go. What? What is it? What is that? No, no. He's no, just like this. No, no. I believe. I believe my friend who was there. I believe a hundred percent. You know, is when you're fighting, it's tough to kind of. Yeah, not not when you got a big long blade. You tend to see that when somebody's going like that. You tend to see it. And in a, in a lit parking lot. I don't know. I don't believe. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm sorry, Brian. I don't buy it either. I just. <laughs> I don't think you really met this guy. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't know. This sounds like. Hey, is this, this guy is this you? Routine is this guy do? you? What? Right. Is this guy named Brian? Okay, Cowell? fine. It was me, guys. Fuck, man. How'd you read into that? Is this I your, is this your character in, in Joker? How did you read into the fact that I fucking I, I scribe two spines? You scribe. I'm so. Oh You're no! I You're the zipper. Him. You're the zipper. I un I'm the unzipper. Brian right? Callen is the zipper. Fuck, zipper. man! I was trying Jack the Ripper. Ah. It, 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 yeah, I unzipped him. It's a little too Hollywood for me with the picking, and then he goes, "I'll be your Huckleberry." Yeah. Well, that's a famous I'll line. I'll be your Huckleberry. That's a famous line from Tombstone. And I remember I said, I mean, he said that. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Uh. God damn it! And I and I, I slew them. I slew I slew two men. You slew two men. And I slew them. And I went. Time to get your spine scribed. So I, as I scribed, as I scribe, I go scribe. As you're going across, uh huh, dude. I'll tell you, this is gonna bring this podcast a screeching halt. But I just gotta say it. There, uh, you ever get PTSD? I wish from, you've been like from, okay. <laughs> I'm like I'm so. Remember those Hell's Angels? <laughs> I was the bird. Uh, There's no birds. Uh, yeah. I, was uh, yeah. the I was the bird. Heart I was boner, the bird. Yeah. Boner busting out of my I jeans. I got all my yeah. holes filled. Um, multiple times. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, I can't pay for dinner, but I do have holes. I'm <laughs> what they call airtight. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys joke no away. air getting in this guy we don't have money to pay you guys and we know you owe you, we owe it for a gambling debt but joe coy jacoy has he's air he's what's called airtight he's I'm got airtight to, guys he's, he's down to go to airtight he's, he's got, down for the airtight he's got to holes he's got to hole i have two holes in a couple of ears <laughs> fill me up there you go hands and feet hands um and feet. let's glaze oh, what I'm saying is filipino you, donut you ever get ptsd from pictures you see yeah, like a dude. There's this yeah. picture of a a dad and his daughter trying oh, to cross no. the border. No, 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 I don't want to hear it. Oh, what happened? Gosh. They get it's killed. It's a dad and a daughter trying to cross the border, and they're in the water. They they showed up both face down. Oh, no, no, no. But on on Twitter, it goes graphic content, no. and usually it's like a bird eating a fucking no. worm. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. No, Click on it. Well, that's too graphic for that's me. Yeah, that, that ruined my morning. Yeah, that's man, so that sad. got me. Yeah, that got me. That's so that sad. got me. It's all I've been thinking about this entire podcast. Oh, Even sorry. though you made up an entire story about a guy knife fighting, <laughs> yeah, and we're talking about a special. All I think about that that dude and the you, daughter. Oh, see, well, that's what happens is you can't watch. Really that fucked stuff. me up. You can't watch that stuff. Mm -mm. It'll you go down that. Why'd you click hole. it? It was like uh, I don't know. It's in my news feed, and yeah. I was like, too graphic for me. Usually, yeah. Again, usually it's like an eagle ripping a fucking penguin's head off, which well, I find yeah. fun. I had a little PTSD because <laughs> I I happened upon a fucking video of one of those meat grinders do, 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 and they put a dead horse in there a whole horse like what? face first just threw the whole horse nose in and there, everything and the thing goes the whole horse <laughs> and it just goes <laughs> oh, and just take, yeah like a big horse a, a, a that full like grown, rolled its ankle on the derby grown, and like kill him it was a live horse i mean it was a dead <gasps> horse dead horse but it was a it was a full grown horse and this machine that breaks down meat and i was just like i i was like Oh, things can be so terrible. Yeah. Oh my God! Now uh, you went searching for that, sir. No, it was it was that's not it posted was, on the it feed. It was it ain't on the shown feed. to me. That ain't on the feed, though, bro. No, nah, it was shown to me by a certain guy that we know. The guy who the killed guy with the knife. That yeah, the same guy, guy who someone that's great. I'm just you not buying a horse. You want to see a horse get? Do you buy any of this, yep. Joe? I yep. mean, <laughs> he said, "Do you want to see a horse get uh, crushed? Crushed? Let's do goes, some current events, and I could scribe your spine." This guy. You were a liar. This when, should be called the fighter and the liar. Actually, actually when it's, it's done, just called when the podcast the is done, I'm podcast. gonna show you who it is and I'm gonna show you You're lucky we don't have a fact check. Thing. No, I have a fact check. I can show you who he is. You'll see. You'll see after I'm done. You're talking about the scriber? 
Yeah, I'll, I, I'll, I'll bring him up. Just from, I, the, I, I, just I'm from actually, the story. I'm actually thing, afraid. But... I'm a, fr- a little bit afraid of him, so I, I'm not saying his name. <laughs> That's how I feel. When you see it, I think you'll go, oh, okay. I don't think this so. A, and it's in your phone. Huh? You have a, you have his number in your phone, or we got to look at text him and go. Have you scribed no, anybody no, I lately? Don't his, I don't have his fucking. Okay. Oh, I don't have his phone number. No, no, no. I tell you something, buddy. My nuts. <sighs> my my nuts. You you know what goes on down Dude, there? Do mine things, get hairy? Things and grow. I try trimming them, and there's blood. You can snag. I, I snag snagged. up. I snag up on this. And on, here's on a very important sack. question. A very it important hurts. question. It's so soft. It's the worst. But you 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 trim your face sometimes. Your neck. Now I know you're not probably going in to the door for the ball trimmer no. what you do is you go don't be a pussy dude and nope. i'm just gonna sir no i use a little something called manscape you do it's the number one men's below the belt get it below the belt's grooming manscape offers precision engineered tools for your nuts you won't nick let's em. be real you won't nick or snag for your nuts. that that tender nut case oh yeah that they, nut case because you know why they got skin safe technology yeah. Also, guess what? Don't use the same trimmer that you use on your face on your nuts. It's disgusting. It's not fun. So guess what? Get into it right now. Get twenty percent off and free shipping with the code Fighter at Manscaped.com. Tell that's, them about the crop that's preserver. That's Manscaped. M A N S C A P E D dot com. Promo code Fighter. And they got a crop preserver, the anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. Oh. How about that? Put deodorant on your arms. Why not on your balls? Yeah, always use the right tools for the job. Your balls will thank you. Get 20% off free shipping and, ref- and also a free travel bag with the code FIGHTER at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping and a free travel bag to get your nut gear into at manscaped.com. Use code FIGHTER. You know, B, you can't just sleep on a mattress that's for everybody. What do you mean? Well, I'm saying Helix Sleep. Yeah, they got a quiz. You take that. In just two minutes, you complete that, and it shows you the exact mattress you need. For your body The type? perfect mattress so, for your so body type. So I'm, I'm a heavily muscu- muscled man. There's, there's, there's Do you sleep on your side? Dog. Yeah. Maybe you get hot. Yeah. Maybe you need a plush, firm bed, whatever you need. Helix got you covered. Hmm. Just go to helixsleep.com slash fighter. Take their two-minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you to customize the mattress that will give you the best night of sleep so ever. It provides individual support needs and feel preferences for each side. How about that? Yeah, how about they have oh, a 10-year warranty, ten year bro? Warranty. Yeah. Yes, try it out for 100 nights risk-free. They even pick it up for you if you don't love it. Damn. But guess what? You can you love will. it. Oh, but you Helix will. Helix is offering you guys up to $125 off all mattresses orders for the Fire and Kid listeners at helixsleep.com slash fighter. That's helix, H-E-L-I-X, sleep.com slash fighter for up to $125 off your mattress order now. Helix Sleep. So San Francisco is set to ban all e-cigarettes by 2020 that are approved by the FDA. And currently, no e-cigarettes are approved by the FDA. Because the vaping? Yeah. They say it's fucking over the, the young culture. Every, I, something like 6% of uh, high schoolers. Or some crazy number. Because mm-hmm. so it, it smells like candy, right? Uh-huh. So they think it's harmless, but it's actually like smoking a full pack of cigarettes. Is it? No shit. Oh, so are they finding oh, that e cigarettes are very bad? It's way worse. For is you. it really? Yeah. But, but it's. Because it, 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 there's no filter. But, so it's pure, like, fucking nicotine. nicotine. But isn't nicotine less harmful than the actual. S- nope. No. Nope. Yeah, because they say smoking a certain amount of uh, e cigarettes is the same as smoking a pack a day when these kids are just doing like a, a thing. Oh. Yeah, it's really bad for you. Oh, but it smells like cotton candy and whatever. So yeah. kids are like, "Oh, it's cool, it's fine." Yeah, well, you've seen all the hot Instagram models with their titties out and their yeah. fucking yeah. cheeks out the back. Everybody I know vapes. So many people vape. A lot, a lot of weed vaping, right? A lot of, I, I got to be honest. I don't know anyone that vapes. No. Yeah, I see it all the time. When we're at the store. That whole fucking kids. The I show guess. we do with Tripoli is all weed back there, right? Not the comics though. No. It's like the the weird dudes in the back. And every time I, they have, always have donuts back there, or they have the sh- food. I'm like, "Is there weed in these, Sam? Right, or can I ask, eat these? Because you got to ask. Those yeah. donuts were good. You and I had a donut last Sir, night. Sir, I, I ate once yesterday. I had a, one chicken sandwich. So I didn't eat, so I was starving when I got there. Oh boy, how many did you have? You had a couple. Not, I saw you. I, I caught you. I had two. Oh. I had two small sprinkled donuts, dude. Yeah, worked out for an hour and a half today, though. So watch your fucking mouth. All right, looking cute. You should text your scribe guy. Um, yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah e-cigarettes are supposed to be really bad for you. Mm-hmm. There's you look a- like a you look like you do e-cigarettes, cat. <laughs> no, I don't do anything. You do hookah? 
No. Have you ever done any drugs? Uh, yeah, very little amounts when I turned 18, just because I wanted to try. What kind of drugs are you talking here? Hmm? Heroin? Yeah. Black tar? <laughs> meth. Black, meth. Meth. Yeah. Just a little uh, bit. Dabbled Black in meth. Tar. What did you do? Just uh, pot, hookah, stuff like that. Really, really mild stuff. Just Never wasn't cocaine, huh? No, I was too broke for that. I feel like you, you ain't, do cocaine. You ain't, you ain't never done a blow, blow, right? What? You ain't never done any blow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Cat right. looks like she'd do some cocaine and write an entire book in a day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if Would, I could afford it, maybe. I mean, you uh, you could hey, afford cocaine. Hey, Cat, I can afford it. <laughs> I'll tell you who can, my friend here. My nah, daddy can afford it. I know, I know, I know done, a guy I've who gets cocaine. great coke. I know a guy who who was like, here you go. And he's got a bag. I'm like, I think you can get in a lot of trouble for that much below. I mean, that's yeah. LA. I didn't Bro- realize how many people are on drugs so I get to LA. Oh my God. Brian is always going to be the guy that knows a guy. Yeah. Oh, uh, I have a, no, yeah. but the best Brian is. Brian always if, knows if a you, guy. If you could go back over the six years we've been doing the show where he goes, I got a good friend. He's, I can't say his name. He's in. He's a defense attorney. It's always that. Yeah. That's but, cool though. It's cool exist. to know that many people. They exist. The way? You know, our friend right now is using that guy. No, uh, defense attorney. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, you do. I have no idea what yeah, you're you talking do. about. No, I do. I'm not trying to air oh. it out. Why don't right, you do that? Right. You've been secretive this whole time. The one time you need to be secretive, you allude to it. So the FBI is watching you, dude. <laughs> yeah. are, are you, you're not a big drug guy, are you, Joe? Yes, he is. No, I'm not. Yeah, you fucking drug addict. I don't do drugs. I do drugs all the time. Oh, you, no. What about when you're Look young? Look at you, dude. Your eyes are shifting back. Yeah, you're me lick my lip. Your lips oh, are getting no. yeah. I'm hungry for some cocaine. No, Joe, don't some do it. It's a dead end. Dick. Joe, you, nobody's that's the only <laughs> I like. To, that's all, I don't really like doing drugs. I like doing the things you have to do to get drugs. I, mean, I got it. I didn't want that. You, <laughs> you know what I mean? You, like, you I don't want. It. I don't want the cocaine. But can I suck your dick for some cocaine? <laughs> oh, no. God, and just gives you an excuse. And then you just keep the cocaine. And then you just like doing the dirty. Then you don't feel gay. Who likes blow? Yeah, you don't feel gay. Yeah, yeah. I'm straight enough to like blow, and therefore I do. Yeah. yeah, man. But have you ever done any of that stuff or no? Yeah, I think I did it in the past. I don't. Not your thing. Not my thing. Not me neither. No. My brother's. Know, my brother is crazy, and I saw a lot of drugs. It doesn't work out for anybody. That, uh, you know, when you're over thirty doing drugs. No. It doesn't. Yeah, I don't understand that. It just doesn't. Nobody did a lot of cocaine. Nobody had problems or was broke and did a lot of cocaine. And then it got better. It never happened it in never. the history of the world. Yeah. Nobody did a lot of cocaine and started a business, even though you want to start a business when you're doing it. Yeah. Nobody did anything. I mean, uh, I, I, I had a friend that had a, a couple sushi restaurants, both of them gone because of cocaine. That bad, huh? That bad. I remember him closing the windows to his restaurant. Oof, fuck. To, trying to hurry up and get everybody out. So you can just do blow get the party going. I'm just like, yeah, God, this guy dude, sounds is awesome. this really your life, man? Yeah. And yeah, he sounds awesome. done. Stop talking to him. Yeah, you got. I kind of suck. I couldn't, I couldn't that. hang out. I can't with that do anymore. it. You can't. Just, just always a party. You can't be around. Always it. a party. What else yeah. you got, Cat? Oh, here. Boom. So the DMV is set to close for half a day on July twenty fourth for customer service training. Hopefully, customer service training on moving fucking faster. Exactly. That's what it is. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a transition now with driver's licenses here in California where they're switching to the real ID, and everyone is trying to get in to get that switch, but there's just such the a large influx insane. of people coming in. How's it not automated at this point? Like, when I was there, I'm like, how yeah. is it not just, why am I dealing with all these people? Exactly. How, how do I not just do this picture, thank you, out the fucking door? I, how's it not automated? I don't understand how DMV still has printers that make that sound that... It's so strange. What the fuck? It's not 1970 anymore. Why not put some resource into it? It's so crazy. I just I, I had it. to go there last uh, a month ago. It was insane. Yeah, it was insane. I'm like, how the fuck is there not a machine? I just type my but, shit in. But wait, so take a picture. So I'm saying, fucking out. So you're done. saying so you're saying government isn't efficient? So how interesting. It's what drives me crazy when I hear people like socialists like like we should we need more government, more social. Okay, enjoy that shit. How's how's the DMV? Yeah. How the fuck is that with no accountability? You're gonna create a more government agencies? Enjoy that shit. Fuck off. That's the truth, though. You're Fuck right. One hundred percent, man. I'll, I'll be I don't honest. Get it. Last night when uh, we were doing shows at the comedy store, Sam Tripoli and Eddie Bravo cornered me, and we started talking conspiracy theories. They got some points, man. They got yeah. some points. Everybody always I'm slowly points. converting a little bit. You're getting, getting. I was all the way over here. Like, wasn't no there way. a Jim Morrison c- conspiracy? You're talking about Laurel Canyon conspiracy theories. Yeah, now, I'm reading a book on that. A lot of that's God. What too many it? coincidences, bro. Uh huh. It wasn't just a pocket of creativity. 
No. Where people were moving there because well, everybody else was moving there. Well, no, because all of them have military ties. All the parents do. All of them were. And, so and, did the military write together. those songs? Or? No, the military didn't write songs. So they helped them, though. Song. Helped them what? Well, they're all there. All the families are there in the same area. Yeah. And they had their own. Uh, they had their own production. Mm -hmm. And 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 they they didn't get popular because they were genius songwriters. No, no, that most of them didn't even write their own songs. Uh, who did the government? No, I don't think the government wrote. No, they songs. didn't. I can tell you that because no. nobody in that government is that creative. No, you better shut up right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, there, no, there's there's some there's some weird stuff there. What's there's some weird, weird stuff. What, what would be weird? How they're all so the Laurel Canyon, the hippie movement, yeah, in yeah. Laurel Canyon, 1968, yeah. Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, Neil Young, all those guys. All of them. All yeah, but what happens there. is when there's a group of people, Hendrix lived there for a little while, uh, Jim Morrison lived there for a little while. Yeah, they all, you're, Mamas you're, and the Papas. Yep. So Mamas and Papas, Jim Morrison's, yeah. both dads served sure. same military, Navy, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just saying, it's weird. They went to everybody back. A lot more to high the school. There was a, there was That's, a draft. When I'm reading, I'm like, yeah, but the, back then was a heavy military. But there was influence. a draft. That's right? what I'm saying. Yeah. So a lot of them would be military. Yeah. It's a little weird, and it's fun to talk about. Yeah, it's fun. To I'm talk. not. I'm not sold on this. I, you know, but what I'm saying there is a little. It's kind of strange how all those bands back then came from the same place. All parents were in the same military. Oh, I didn't know that. All yeah, the hippie culture was uh, developed. Well, what's there. the idea behind the conspiracy? Well, isn't that sure. when wasn't the government introducing the t psychedelic drugs at that time? Correct. That's that's that, that's they were the ones that well, led the, led, led the, the, the movement of they, the hippies. They created yeah. the movement, but yes. you know, you know, it destroyed. They you know, it destroyed the hippie movement, right? And, and the, so after Haight Ashbury, so there was this renaissance of amazing music, right? And it was psychedelics. And then what destroyed the music, and they've been a great documentary on this, was heroin and cocaine, especially heroin. Once heroin came in, people like Lou Reed, who were so talented and so promising, the Pogues and all these people, and there's another book called The Dark Stuff written by Nick Kent, and it just fucking, it, it's, it's when the music died. It killed the music because mm. so many young people, Janis Joplin, so talented, dead at 27. Hendrix, all in dead at so 27. revolutionary, dead at 27. 27. Jim Morrison, phenomenal. You think, all that's, well, how old you think all that's a coincidence? 100%. They all died at 27? Of course. And all came all, from the same area. They're all drug addicts. And all came from the same yeah, area. Yeah, they're all drug addicts. They all were. So, so all of Wait, them. Wait, how old was Jim? All of them 27. were copying. Are you kidding me? Yeah, twenty-seven, of, and wasn't into music. And so was so was a Kurt Cobain, and all of them. All of them basically were Whoa. had been doing drugs for a long time. But back then, remember, they were copying. That was the a lot of them were copying their heroes like Charlie Parker and some of the blues musicians from from Billy Holiday to everybody else who were already doing a lot of uh, heroin. So it was like cool to subscribe to having a But also problem. the hippie, well, a lot of people think the hippie movement started in, uh, in Ashbury in San Francisco. In Ashbury? It, it didn't though. It started in Laurel Canyon. Yeah. No way. Yeah, oh yeah. Probably. You're blowing my mind No, it right did. Now. It started there. Because it was such a creative and it was, place. It, it, and, a, and what they would do is- Where in Laurel Canyon? Are you reading 1968, that book? No. It's a great book. I mean, a Laurel Canyon. Wait, am I tripping theories. right now, but where? In Laurel Canyon? Just in the canyon? Like, so in the you know houses? the road? Yeah, yeah, in the houses. And you know the market, the Laurel Canyon market? Yeah. yeah. That's where Kirkwood, one of the main uh, guys Kirkwood owned. Laurel yeah, I know exactly. And his what son talking. died there. It's yeah. crazy. You should shit. read uh, and 1968. And Charles it's Manson. a great book. And what? Charles Manson, yeah. yeah. Read 1968. It's a great book, man. Really great book. I got it. Now I got to go to that store. It's so fun. I always pass that store. Oh, dude, that's why I was driving down there, and then uh, because um, and it looks like something. That, now that you said that, yeah, it looks like something from that. I got a lot of own stores there, and yeah, it's it's because I always drive down there, so yeah. I love driving through and knowing the history. Yeah. It was everybody would come. That's so if you cool. were a musician, and that's Houdini, where you, Houdini had a house there that it, burnt down. If you were a musician, Charles that's where Manson, you, you wanted to live there. If you were a musician, Charles that's Manson where you lived go. down Lower yeah. Canyon. That's there was a migration crazy. of musicians who were young and hungry, and they all went there, and some of them all lived in the same house at one point yep called the one. cabin uh-huh what yep. this is blowing my mind i love yeah. this and then the, the cia the, and this is this isn't conspiracy the cia has a huge complex in laurel canyon that they had its own producing studios and everything and a lot of music came out of there which is what a lot of their music a lot of their music came out of there see that's what ties this like all it's together. a little weird but the only thing so now that's gone right you know who owns it jared leto he bought it he owns the entire complex of laurel canyon oh, nice. that the cia has their building Jared Leto is clearly CIA. I'm not saying no. no be, I'm, I'm not Eddie Bravo. I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying, would you look at the history of the CIA and Laurel Canyon? All the bands that came out of there. All, all the bands' dads that were connected to the military. Well, you got to remember. And also, they all went to the elementary CIA, together. It's yeah. weird. But you got to remember and how Jim Morrison was in the music at all. Mm. You got to remember CIA. I mean, the, the Dolph Tonkin. He wasn't. No. no. 
But this is who, crazy. Who Jim Morrison blowing my mind, mind right now. Like a no. genius magician. I love this shit, bro. <laughs> and here, here's the other. I will fall in a conspiracy oh, wormhole, and I will stay up. Me too. But me too. But I don't go full into it. The only thing with Jim Morrison that that is strange with it too is. So he started to explode and people worked on his looks because he did have like a, mil he was in the military. So he had super military cut, right? So he started to get all the hippie movement and then he, they would do live shows off Sunset. Well, he can't really, like he's not a great singer. A lot of his uh, guys can't even play the guitars very well. So the live show sucked dick. So his albums were great because a lot of it was, you know, bells and whistles that Papa, they did Papa, in the studio. Can I just tell you something? Whoever's telling you this? No, this is, is a book. It's crazy. I'm just telling you. In other words, in other words, Jim Morrison. I I can show you live performances. I've watched him. He was unbelievable as a yeah. front man and so talented for sure. Jim Morrison and and the Doors were insane. Hey, no, B, you're missing the point. Yeah. So you're getting defensive. I'm not. I, I'm not getting defensive. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying. a conspiracy theory. I'm saying when he first started out, all the bands they couldn't sell tickets because well, the performance was so bad. Sure, they were younger and they learned how to do it. But but if you if you look at like how. I mean, they and, were just and what so else is weird is Jim Morrison interviews would say his parents are dead. He didn't want any association with. So his the hippie dad movement being the though was so subversive, right? Mm -hmm. So so the FBI and CIA, th there was a real fear that there was a like a communist. There were communes. So there there was a real red scare. Remember, this was during the height of the Cold War. Yeah. So there was a real concern that our youth were being corrupted by communist ideology, drugs. And all those things. So the CIA and FBI and, and the establishment found them very threatening. And then it culminated with fucking uh, our boy Charles Manson killing all those people and trying to start a race war. And that created such a paranoia because we re that people realized this shit's real. You got hippies on psychedelics. It, that's where reefer madness and all this shit came along. And it was like, we got to put a stop to this. What, what's crazy to me with Charles Manson is... He has like he was a legit singer, like he oh, yeah. he, he got in with the with the you know, so he was part. You ever hear he was all music? part of the music sound thing. He yeah. he Why? lived with the with the Beach Boys. They actually were going to sign him a deal. When he got turned down by the record company, mm -hmm. that's when he went crazy. Mm -hmm. That's when he's like, oh, I'm gonna start killing people. He was a good looking dude, young, good looking fucking kid, small but like five know. four, crazy, yeah, but sexy. And they had music. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was sexy, but... <laughs> Look him up. Look at young... He looked like shit. Good, no, good-looking guy. The, I disagree. Before the swastika. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Watch this. Tell me if he's not a handsome... Five, four. I would never say he went thought he was handsome. No. Keep going. Mm. No, that... Not a so that'd be, that'd be him in the middle when he was doing all the crazy shit. Not a bad-looking guy. Not good, Brian. No, not good at all. Nah, girls liked him. I wouldn't give him a deal. Look him there. Come on. Look at his eyes. <laughs> He's not bad looking. Not good. Long no, hair. not good at all. He was very charming. He made girls do a lot of drugs, and he'd pretend he was Jesus. Very yeah. crazy man. And he was Jesus, and that's the one thing I want to say. <laughs> but the, the guy who was the leader of the Sorry. hippie movement, they said him and Charles Manson, when they do the comparisons, it's crazy. He did the same thing, and they all promoted underage sex, and it's nuts, man. There's a lot of fun. Back then, a lot of fun. Well, that was, well, that was um, 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 Meyer Lansky. Uh, no, um, not Meyer Lansky. Um, who's the great director who had sex with the 13-year-old? Uh, not Pinsky. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, Roman, uh, Polanski? Uh, Roman Polanski. Roman Polanski. Yeah. 13-year-olds. I think it was in Laura Canyon, wasn't it? And Correct. They were in a hot tub. They got her high, had sex with her, and uh, she was 13. He found out he was going to jail for a long time. Fled the country. And fled the country. Mm. There was a lot of fucking that went on. A lot of Well, th that hippie movement, they, they said they the hippies would, so the Doors or whoever would play at these random clubs off Sunset, and that guy, I forget his fucking name. He's he's just like Charles Manson, but wouldn't kill people. Crazy as fuck. He'd bring the girls there, and they loved because those girls were dancing and were dressed like hippies. No one saw before, so a bunch of people would come to the shows mm -hmm. to watch the girls, yes. not the band. So that guy was always constantly fucking nonstop. So he was just a lot. There was a lot of fucking that went on. Big old bushes too. <laughs> <laughs> Big old seventies bushes. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, yeah. Drugs and bushes, bro. Drugs, Drugs and, bushes. and bushes. Drugs and bushes. Drugs, Drugs and, bush. and bushes. Drugs and bushes. Yeah, Drugs man. and bush. That was a good band, by the way. Drugs, Drugs and bush. Yeah, D and Just Drugs D &D. and Bush. Let's start a band, you guys. Seriously. Oh, my God. I would love that. My buddy, Dead Serious, he was so crazy. Johnny, he would go. He was so amazing. And he, we're driving. And he's like 50 at the time. And I'm like, I don't know, 37. And we're driving. And he goes, <laughs> Dead Serious. He goes, we should start a band. Yeesh. And I go. That's a really good idea, Johnny. Yeah. What would you play? He goes, I would sing. And I go, what would I do? He goes, I don't know. You move around. <laughs> move around. Play the fucking tambourine. I want to start a band with both of you. Dude, you, you know, Let's just go into Guitar Center. 
Just go in there not knowing anything. You just don't go. plan. You don't oh, plan. start a band. No, you, you know, know what I like to do? Some equipment. You know what I like Tambourines. to do? I like to go to a guitar center. I used to do this in college. I'd go in there, I'd grab the guitar, and just, I'm like, yeah, this thing's fucking sweet, man. I just pretend I know what I'm doing. I just grab different guitars. I wish I could do that. You I can. I wish I could play the piano. They come over and they talk to you. Yeah, that one's got a longer neck, man. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I got yeah, signed up for freaking, piano lessons yeah, at 14, like and I fucking, I turned it down, and I, that's my only regret. Yeah, man, it's a... Uh, could have been a great... My Run a little fingers. late, bro. Look at my fingers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You yeah. lost track of time playing the piano. Lost track of time, man. You know who can play like a concert pianist is Sean Hayes. You know from Will and Grace. Ooh. Fucking like like concert pianist. I don't know him. Jack from Will and Grace. Is it the redhead guy? Oh no, I'm too young. Look, Sean Hayes, the best. One of the best people in the world. Oh, he's a genius. He's the best. He's the, yeah. I love him so much. What's he yeah. in? Oh, he's, uh, but he's did, did, did they such a good actor? Did they redo Will and Grace? Yep. And he's in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. But he's, he's just great, a man. great person, and hilarious. He's fucking hilarious. Oh, he's so good. One of the funniest people in the world. Can he do, killed he, that show, by the way. Can do anything. Can do anything. Is that show still going on? Yeah, they they brought it back. It's a reboot, right? Yeah. With the same actors? Yep. yep. Megan Mullally? Younger, weren't you, younger, Weren't you going to be in uh, Will and Grace? I, I auditioned. I went back five times for Will. And then I went back four times for Jack. Dang. Never happened. Just missed. Son Just of a missed it. I mean, I fucking got so ready for that audition. Between that like, and the piano, Like, I broke dude. my back. I, 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 like, I wanted it so badly. I've never, it's rare that you want something that badly. I knew it was going to be the biggest fucking hit ever. I wanted it so badly. Max and David, the creators, the greatest greatest guys and it was down to you and him i don't know but i i kept coming back over really and over again yeah but you think uh, it's between you and him and auditions are a motherfucker bro i come down but you know what i hate to be shitty about it oh they made the right choice oh yeah, they did oh they did oh. <laughs> hate to be shitty about it yeah. i'm your friend yeah made the right choice but uh, you were just saying how talented he is no, can you I, play the piano no no, <laughs> no. well he can yep yeah. You know what? You know what? Made they, the right they, choice. You know what they didn't have in that that, that show? What? Someone that could scribe. <laughs> and don't you think that, that would have worked? Price. That would have been good, right? Nah, man. Nah, man. Nah, man. What else nah, we got? Man. All right, Cat's gonna take control of the computer for a second because I gotta pee real bad. There Let's you go. take a break. You guys want to take a break? Do you? No. No. Good. Keep going. <laughs> okay. So a 29-year-old Pennsylvania man was recently arrested because he was trying to warn everybody in his area that aliens are going to come and take over the world because humans are bad. And he was warning people by making a makeshift bomb and leaving it at a hotel. He actually went inside the hotel, told the manager, hey, I made this cool bomb. And the manager said, please bring it outside, call the police. And he was arrested. Yeah. Well, I like this guy. He yeah. sounds like he's not dealing with a full deck. <laughs> he is certain that the aliens are going to come for us. Okay. He, that's called being uh, certifiable and mm. a little crazy. He needs help, right? I don't know, man. What? He looks pretty cool to Hold me. On. Looks pretty cool to me. He looks Joe? pretty cool to me. Like looks like he inscribed. <laughs> Schizophrenia hits men in their 20s. You know that? Mm -hmm. Typically. Talking about aliens. Do you want to see the fucking Area 51 dude on Rogan? I didn't. Mm -mm. You haven't seen it? No. What's his name? His Is name's Bob? Laser. Take it easy. Bob Lazar, right? Bob Lazar. I got your fist at me. Because if anyone needs to see it, you need to see Why, it. Why, dude? Fuck. Why? The aliens are real. Bro, hey, I was just watching dude, that I, last listen, night. Listen, I, I know. just watching the I Bob Lazar thing on Netflix last hey, night. I know I'm usually the anti conspiracy guy, but you know what? I've looked into it, no, and Eddie's kind of right no, on a lot of shit. I'm not just trying to fist you. No, I'm threatening me, bro. you. Alien. I'm threatening you. Brian. What, what did he I say? I swear to God. What Hold the on. fuck did aliens he say? Aliens are real. Yeah, they are. Ah! They're real. Dude, are you arguing aliens aren't real? I, I don't think there's any heavy dolls. You fuck. Okay, take it easy. How the dude. fuck do you say there's no evidence? Where is How? Hey, ah! This Bob Laser worked on you. Laser. You're getting. I call him Laser. Okay, call him. It's way cooler. Yeah, yeah, He's it's the worst. Cool. Why not go it by Laser? He butchers Why not go by sense. Laser? He you're butchers aliens. You should be called no, Bob Laser. Nickname. You're right. Laser. You butcher every name. But, but Laser is what I call. So him. Laser. Laser believes. L no, no, no. Not believe, oh, no. dude. He was Laser. He was brought there. Was brought there. Worked on nine different UFOs. We have video. He worked on nine different UFOs? Nine of them at Area 51. Dude, if you discredit Laser, I'm going to fuck you up. Well, I just feel like I he's... I see Okay, this. I just feel like I just want to say one thing. Is it possible that he is a liar? 
Why would he? Why would Mr. Laser? Why the fuck lie? do you believe a guy that cleans his nails with a fucking <laughs> knife and scribes several people? Because I was trying to that's, warn those guys. I mean, real, he was trying to warn but those guys. This guy actually worked with UFOs on a very secure we have government controlled area Brian. called Area 51. You guys, where's the evidence? Oh, you gotta watch Is it granny dog. footage. You gotta educate yourself before you. Dude, there are aliens are real. Aliens are real. I have would they, bet my bottom have dollar. Have they made contact with us? They sure have. They sure have. They have. Made it on Earth. Okay, yeah, we have. We what, have their spaceship. What, 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 oh, yeah. We have what, their spaceship. We have nine of them. Nine? Why don't you go? Hey, hey, I, hey, dude. Hey, Brian, why don't you grab your phone real quick? Your iPhone. Dude, I believe that's hold on, fired up. Take right it now. easy, dude. You don't believe in aliens. You sound like this guy who put a bomb in the fucking in the hotel. No, I sound like an educated human okay, being. Okay, take it easy, dude. You don't believe in aliens. Why do you have your hat off and why are you pointing it at me? Just relax. Supreme expensive. Okay, dude. You don't believe in aliens? I don't know about aliens, but I don't know that we have nine spaceships. Oh, uh, all right, I. I would love to have now, when you Mr. Say he worked Laser on him, in here. When you said he worked on them, what did he do on them? Did he soup them up? I'm asking. I'm asking questions. You're driving I me crazy, bro. I don't it. know. Can I tell you a story real quick? Yes. Please, just do. real quick. Please. So Chris D'Elia is you know, he's on, on, on the road with me. right? He's opening for me. Yeah. And we, we get to this one town. Every city that we go to, we're the funniest guys there. Yeah. Anywhere. We go to a coffee bean. We go to a, a, a Panera Bread. We're the funniest fucking people to walk in. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. We get to this town. Funny posse. It's it's called, I think it's called Dayton, Ohio. I think, I'm pretty sure you've been, yeah, I know, been there. We go to Dayton, town. and all of a sudden, we're not the funny people. Everywhere we go, the Panera, we go to a, a fucking some restaurant. It, it, everyone's odd. Everything, everything is a little odd. So mm. Chris and I go to the room, and we start laughing, and we're like, Dude, you know what this town is? The government built this town because this is where they breed aliens. And then they breed them here, and then they ship them out into the regular world after point. they work here. Mm -hmm. Like, they work with them here to deal with, like, people that are transient coming through and dealing with regular humans, right? We were yeah. laughing. We're dying so hard at this theory, right? So the guy that comes and picks us up for the, for the show, he's driving us to the, to the, to the show. And, and then Chris is sitting in the front seat. I'm sitting in the back. And I go, hey, my man, um, are there any uh, aliens or spaceships that, that uh, fly around here? And we just, we giggle to ourselves. Chris and I are laughing to ourselves, right? And the guy goes, yeah, uh, Roswell crashes uh, here, the, 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 the spaceship from Roswell. Roswell, right? Ros what's Roswell. It called? Roswell. The Roswell spaceship is yeah. here, and it's in hangar. Like, check this out. He goes, Chin, you, you're, in, you're on the alien train as well? I've always kind of believed it, yeah. yeah Bro, yeah. listen, listen. This I mean, is, kind of believed it. Listen, this is the best part of the story. He goes, the Roswell crashes here. It's in Hangar, like, 52. You can look it up. Hangar it's 18, right? Date, date, Hangar 18? Hangar 18? Hangar 18. I swear to God, Chris and I, we were laughing all day. All day we were laughing. When this guy said this, Chris and I, we looked fucking ghost face. We look at each other like, what the Go, fuck? Go to images. Brian, you don't think... Listen, Brent, look at this shit. This is a real hangar in Dayton, Ohio. That looks like a hangar. Now, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> no, we were joking around about this yeah, whole some, alien shit. And when that guy said that to us, it freaked us the fuck out. Because that's literally how that town felt. Right. It felt like they were, like, breeding Not some type of world. subhuman. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just saying, man. It was no, so, so fucking weird. inside there might be a UFO. All right. Well, that's my story. UFO? Ask Chris... Crystal, Crystal, is that an alien right out. there? Hold on. <laughs> that one is real. Dude, that's a real alien. D B, I'm telling you, you got to listen to this Bob Laser. Really? Lazar. I'm just saying. So Lazar, Lazar has I believe now, in now, he, now he has a, the, the documentarian that, that's so fake. The documentarian that's with him is a bit of a tool where you're like, oh, I don't believe this. Yeah. But this Bob Laser guy, it's real shit, man. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Why, why, why are you so. I just said, you don't believe all any I of it. said was. Hmm. You don't believe yeah. in any of it. You don't All think there's I a said higher was, life form? I just said, hmm. Yeah. You, you drive me crazy, man. Guys, the, I'm not, saying, that, you I'm not in, saying extraterrestrial life doesn't exist. Of course it has to. You'd have to believe it does because the universe is so huge. But um, and they, they, what, has, so it, what, has they what made Lazar, contacts? Yeah, they have. So what Lazar was saying, Lazar, Lazar <laughs> yeah. was saying is you that, don't even know his name, but keep going. Well, no, I call him Lazar because right. way cooler. Yeah. So what he was saying is the technology that, so the, his whole project was to figure out how these things work. Like the energy source is so much more powerful than ours yeah. that it, he was a scientist at the, yes, yeah. why the rocket scientist. Why the government? He was keep building jets at the age of thirteen out of his house. What'd you say? Why the government? Uh, why did the government there's now he he doesn't know he goes they did, I have no idea why they wouldn't tell he goes I thought it was because 
we want to advance in our technology, we should let everybody know, but the government doesn't think that way. So the and some US, people, it's so the some US people think, government? yes, so, well, it's all government. So some people think that the government doesn't want to release it because it would release mass hysteria because their technology is so much more advanced than ours, they could just fucking blow up the world at any point. Yeah. And also, all religion would be fake then, right? Yeah, yeah 100. Yeah, it's all bullshit. But I, I mean, I appreciate that. I don't know what those. Where's your stance are. on it, though, B? What you, you, you my, my, stand, my stance is that I just can't. I can't. So, so you have to think about this for a second. Uh, let's just say the government, which is always changing, right? People in power die, and new people come in. So, I, I mean, you know, I guess the military also generals retire, and you have new people come in. The structure, and there'd have to be some kind of there'd have to be some kind of law. Or some kind of agreement, written rule, uh, uh, among whoever it might be, to say this stays secret. You know how hard it is to keep secrets. All of us are like, hmm? and in people in government would you have don't to be think like, there's, what the fuck, right? So you I'm don't saying, think there's secret? Well, there's secrets within the government. Secrets. They're national security secrets. Oh, there's that's what, I, what I'm saying is that there are national security secrets, right? So for sure, we're doing there's intelligence stuff work. We have no but idea. But let's about. just take it. We have a UFO. Let's say we have a UFO. Yeah. And it's somewhere in one of these hangars. In Nevada. Um, explain to me the the how in the world would anyone, especially uh, say, what, how long has it been there? Did he say? Like they don't know. They, okay, it's from the nineteen twenty. Oh, okay, good. Even so, so we've kept this a secret for you know a hundred years. Explain to me how that would be so, and how people who came into power wouldn't say, "Dude, this is fascinating." How investigative journalists. Uh, scientists who are so curious, uh, CIA people, military people, wouldn't somebody go, dude, there's a fucking UFO here. It'd be the greatest, most incredible thing. We'd, it'd be all of us, all of us would be w lining up to go see this thing, right? Wouldn't they don't it? want that. How, who's they, they don't want that. Who's they? Who? Who's they? The government wouldn't want that. When you say the government, who in the government? The government is... Is multi layered. So, but, so, but you, national defense. But you're, but you're pretending that the government, everything's out. I'm for, saying, for us I'm to saying, a hundred years. You're, you're not going to keep a secret for a hundred years. But you don't think the government no, controls that type of information? Just so what they goes in and out. The society, like imagine Who if they the imagine if they said that there is a higher life form and that there's a, a, a being. nobody can keep a secret for a hundred years. It's not possible. Not? Think about it. There's a ton you don't of think there's out secrets there. you don't out think there for a hundred years? Yes. Oh, come on. When the government. There's a UFO in a hangar somewhere, and somehow we so you get into a room when you're in the CIA or the military, and they go, hey, come here. This has been passed on from generation to generation. There is a UFO, but we must keep it a secret from the people. Not all. Yeah, not what? What? No, the what? Only, oh, but only certain branches work on it. So the whole, not everyone's Even privy still, to it. What branches? Let's just say it's the, let me give you a branch. Well, you uh, know Area 51 is a real complex, correct? Sure. Okay. But, 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 but I'm saying. And you, that's you, a secret. Yeah, yeah but, but, but that might be secret technologies. The government has secret technologies, right? Weapons, technology. That, you're stuff. contradicting and, yourself. That's the technology that no, they're but, keeping but, secret. But I'm saying that that is because we keep it secret from Chinese espionage, Russian espionage, things like that. Always Us have, as right? well. Right? Yeah, robotics and all that stuff. So and, and and by the way, there's a lot of industrial espionage. So a lot of that a lot of that technology comes out of industry. Boeing, Lockheed, even Apple. And those people have their own kinds of things, right? And so now they have certain areas that are highly secretive. So when Apple comes out with a new technology, the fucking secrecy is crazy around that, right? So everybody has an interest in keeping that so that they, that the proprietary stuff that you can make money off of doesn't get stolen. I'm talking about a UFO that's been there forever that came from. Well, maybe forever. Else. That's just me. I don't, how, you how would have no we? Idea. But how? How would so, so you're keep saying it? you don't believe what's the it justification? because the government hasn't come out and told you yeah. where it's at? Yeah. Oh, that's how? silly. What's the justification though? Thirty years, forty years of a UFO. Why? Why wouldn't I be able to see it? Wouldn't everybody be curious? No. How would you keep all those people? How many how people know about it? It's not all these how, people. How many? Okay, hold on. What do you mean people? So let's, so, so let's so, say fifteen people worked on it. Let's say fifteen people, right? Because that laser was there. And then I don't they know, die, 30 or they years. retire, and then what? Or, or so, some died from radiation from working. Whatever. Out. Okay. Four so of them have died from radiation. Okay. So whatever that means. Because yeah, yeah. it's so powerful. Right. But, okay. but but so we know that. But but please tell me where in the where in so what should they do? Be? Where in legislature? Let, tell me where it says you're not allowed to talk about this. Well, oh, wouldn't you, somebody in Congress or wouldn't somebody in Congress go? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Hold up. Navy SEALs can't talk about their missions. I know, but this is a UFO. Why is yeah, this? Yeah, but if you're part of that branch, what, that's what you sign what up for. What is the justification 
for keeping the secret. We I just can tell told you, what, you, though. I can tell you what the situation is. You don't think is. they have contracts where they can't just go, hey, you can't work on it and then go on a Nine News tomorrow and announce it. But wait, why would they do that with a UFO? I don't understand. It's been because there for the how long? No, we don't know how long it okay. So you're, that, that argument's not So you're good. saying the so technology let's say it's been there so for, secretive. Let's say it's been there for 15 years. Here's the reason why they don't want the world knowing we have the technology. Whoever grasps that technology and breaks it down can run the world. If you can somehow manifest how powerful this is, but imagine, then you control everything. But so, what about all the religions out there when they find out that there's a, a larger being that's bigger than their that God? Jesus is fake. God's and, fake. So the government, the Allah government. Allah is so the fake. U.S. government goes, we can't release this. The U.S. government, whoever that is, because you guys haven't told me yet. Let's just say it's a group of people. It's not how the government works. You don't think just there's say, governments within the government, Brian? You really don't think there's secret societies within the government? I can't believe you, you think, think the government's all... You don't think there's branches that run... What I'm saying, all, what I'm all saying, is, that, what I'm saying is that... You really corrupt. think that it's just one dude and he's the president no, no, and that's no, what's going no, on? No, no, no. You don't think there's me. other branches on, that, that control? You're not hearing me. You're not yeah, hearing we are, me. We are hearing you. You don't you, think the CIA, the Defense Department, there? I think there are 19 different intelligence agencies So you don't believe... Hold on. Can I just say one thing in your argument that we go... You don't think there's nothing to the word secret in secret you're service? Making, you're talking about something secret so different. Secret service. You're talking about something so different right now? No, what I'm saying is that there's, see, there, there are branches within the government that no. have to continue. Joe, you're not telling me anything I don't know. You don't, you don't tell me anything I don't know. I know, but what, how what did you say? What, what I'm not saying to you guys, what I'm saying to you guys is you're, how telling, hasn't me, gotten out? you're telling me there is an extraterrestrial technology. Okay. Yeah. That the U.S. government's had for, I, I guess it's how many years No, now? we don't know. We've been hearing about Roswell since the 50s. That's what we've been hearing. Right? Okay. So let's just let's say, say the 50s. Let's say it's 68 years. Please, guys, if you could tell me how in the fuck you think the U.S. government, whether it's the Kept CIA a or the deep state or whoever you want to call it, okay. how the fuck are you going to keep that a secret? Where would it get out be? Because, because it's not on the Because it all comes news? out at the end of the day. No, we know everything. that's not true. 50, 60 we years ago, know historians, everything. we don't know the Freedom shit. of Information Act. We don't know anything. Brendan, the Freedom of Information Act, you can you have access to anything. You have access that's to the fact true. that we, we don't have to that's access to We try to stay coup in Iran. We try to stay to a coup in Iran. It's called the freedom of information. We don't have access to everything. We don't if have access really to. So we don't we have, have access. access to we everything. don't have access to state secrets, guys. I understand that. I understand that they we don't can't have access announce that, 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 that there are se there are secrets that the U.S. and all governments have in their intelligence services. Yes. 100. That will never get the, out. And one of the big problems is civilian oversight, which we're supposed to have. And sometimes the CIA takes license, and we don't know about it. And then it gets blown up. Iran Contra. Lots of. What about, what about the JFK files? Like that. Where they can't release it because we can't release some of it to the public because we don't want the backlash from the public. What about some of that it's stuff? A, you're, you, see, what's, what's so funny to me is guys always say this. They always go, well, they can't release it because there'd be mass hysteria and there'd be a huge backlash. Who's they? You mean they? Society. Who's they? So somehow you guys think that if you're in the CIA or you're in defense intelligence or you're or your uh, whatever you are. You're assuming the they're liable to talk about You guys it. are assuming that, 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 uh, that like, they're, they're an all, open they book? All, they, that they're nobody there is curious. Book? Nobody there is curious. And so, and nobody's there is curious and that it's really easy to keep secrets for 50, 68 so years. So you're, you're wrong about that. It's I, not I think you're wrong if you think no secrets are being held for the last hundred years. Yeah. They're not. If you think they're an open... They're not. Of course they are. It's all out there. Then. Yes. All info's out yes, there. Yes, oh, yes, yes. You're crazy. Of 70 years ago? Of 70 you're years ago? The shit. CIA is keeping secrets for 70 years. Huh. You don't think they have any secrets? You think all of it's out in public? You can pretty that's much get... You I'm can, not even conspiracy you, you can get... That's insane. Give me one secret. Go ahead. I don't know. It's a secret. <laughs> oh, it's a secret. <laughs> the fuck? Are so, you so, kidding so, me? So what a terrible you really you Historians you would really laugh. <laughs> historians would laugh in your face. They would laugh in your face. You're, you're crazy. Historians would... Give me one secret. Historians would laugh in your face. Those Are people die and it becomes a matter of record. We know everything that went on in World War II. The kit. We know everything that went on in World War II, right? We know everything that went on in Vietnam. And we know pretty much everything that went on in Vietnam. And we know. No. And we know. And we what do you mean know? Hold on. Brian, hold on. Brian, hold on. Brian, you don't think so? so? We know everything I, there's that comes some up. secrets we do there not know. There are historians they that can tell you everything. everything. We know about the Phoenix operation. What the government lets you know. We know about the assassination programs. What the government they put you know. They didn't put out everything. You think they put out everything? They can After a while, in any in any government, when people die and they were tire and stuff this information comes out no of the person passing not all the jobs they worked on the secrets that they've had so the so you're the saying, government releases so you guys all saying, info so it is your position i want to hear this yeah. i want to hear you say this out loud it is your position gentlemen that the government yeah. has secrets that the government has kept and i'm going to give you a number because this goes back to the 50s go to, that, there I'll go a, that there is a that there is a ufo out there 
or just some extraterrestrial technology somehow landed in American hands because it landed in Nevada. Let's just say, oh, I'll give that to you. Now, no, they're not. Saying now, that. are you saying whatever they're, they're saying, saying? Are you gentlemen saying to me that somehow the because, CIA keeps secrets? That the, that, hold on, yeah. Hold on. So the CIA, quote unquote, has secrets quote, the that CIA, you don't know about. The CIA. That that fucking that that organization that's not a bureaucracy at all really knows how to keep secrets. So you're saying hold on, everything hold on. in government is an open book ask, and anything that's, that's in America? Ask, can that's just, not what I'm saying. That's insane. That's what, saying. what are you so saying? So guys, so I'm saying, are you saying that we have kept this UFO technology and this the existence of this UFO a secret from the American people and the world for 68 years? Yeah, yeah, and it's a yeah, and it's in a and it's in a. Uh, tra- a huge building somewhere in Area Fifty One. Really? You don't think? And it's because over sixty years we've been trying to get Brian. Brian, 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 try going to Area Fifty One. Brian, you can't get in. Brian, <laughs> why? Why did it take? This is awesome. every president that that so, said, does the president does Trump on, know? On, does Trump on, know about listen, it? Listen, I don't know. Will you listen? Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> every president before Clinton always said there is no such thing as Area Fifty One, and that it's not government owned. Every president, Bill Clinton was the first one to ever go. Yeah, there is, and I do recognize there it. There are secret sites. The there are secret sites we have. Oh my god! With weaponry, bro. it's called a secret. It's a secret. But why don't what they announce that to the world? I just said. I just said. According to you, they don't keep any secrets. I didn't say there are no. No, I didn't say that. Yeah, you did. You said, said over time, all of it will get out. Hey, I'm saying the CIA. It's all documented. No, no, no. And this is open Listen, to the public. I'm not saying the government doesn't have secrets. We have intelligence. You said it'll all get out. What I'm saying is that you're not keeping a secret. Who's not? Hundred years. Who's right. not? The government. Right. You the government. are. They have you no are. secrets. No. Everything's aired Over out. Hundred years. Oh, hilarious. that's silly. Even in Vietnam. That's crazy. Even Vietnam, we know that's you crazy. can. You have access to anything you want. Right. You're, I don't you think are so. fucking insane. I love how you guys love this. So, who's keeping it? Is it, it why? You have the to justify. The fucking government. Who? You think the government's the just wide government. open? Who? So you think everybody that's in the Secret Service just open book? Hey, this is what I did no, today. You keep this is what I did today. Keep making this jump. I'm no, talking about UFOs. Call- Stick to UFOs. Stick no, no, UFOs. no. You, you can't spread across the board. No, the government bro. can't release just all info Whoever all the time. Who said that? Who said that? You did. You, I did. you said there's no secrets. No, 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 no. I didn't say you that. Said you said you think listen. they can't keep a you secret last hundred years? You guys don't no, listen properly. you're like this, bro. You don't you're like listen. this. Brendan, you don't listen. We're listening. You are not a listener. Quiet. Everyone quiet. is listening. Quiet. Both of you. I know more about history than both of you. Oh, no. I just do. I'm more educated than you are. I'm more educated about the government, about politics. By far. Educated on by history? far than both of you, you're not even. You're infants right now. Be quiet. Wow. Be quiet. Wow. Why are you so hostile? But you're, because you're you're ignorant. Listen to me. How are we what, ignorant? You're on the loop. What I'm saying, no Brennan, secrets. What I'm secrets. saying is that it's very far fetched to imagine, guys, that the government is able, just able, to keep a secret for 68 years about a UFO that exists. That's it. very far fetched to believe. That's all I'm saying, guys. And why am I saying that? Because at the end of the day, with with the U.S. government, the way our government works, and c- let me give you my logic for a second, please. The way the U.S. government works is eventually with the Freedom of Information Act, eventually when the secrets are considered, when, when national security secrets are no longer considered important to keep, it is made available. Historians and lots of people are interested in this stuff. Okay, now hold on, hold on. Before I say that, you would, if you did have technology that was a UFO, guys, that was 68 years old, and let's say it's to extraterrestrial, are you following me? It's, it's really important technology. There would be, have to be some kind of governing body that legislated that, that made it a law, right? There, there would have to be. And I still haven't found that. So, so when, when you guys so talk about this, well, no, when you guys, but don't jump to that. You know all, all about government because you're studying college. No, no, I'm not I know saying, way smarter Brennan, guys than you Brennan, that you're study jumping, in history. You're jumping. No, no, in, I'm doing a, a solo. You're here. going. You're going, Brian. You know all about government. That's not what I'm saying. No, that's what you just told us. No, no, I didn't. No, I said you, did. you said we're me, infants. You are. Let me explain a little bit about how government works. Oh, God. You do need policy that would make One this history degree. That would make this a secret in the world. No, I've been. I know some people, very smart people, who also look and very smart people. Most very smart people kind of go, okay. Why do you think all of us go UFO? So is Rogan's not smart are you smart and rogan i don't know what are you talking about why are you bringing rogan into this you just said he a lot had of a guy smart on his people. podcast you had a guy on his podcast it, it's very fun and intriguing to believe that a ufo exists it is it's fucking fun i give it to you it's so fun why though guys is it always hearsay why do i have a guy who worked there and he's telling us that he worked on it and all we're left with Correct me if I'm wrong. Is kind of to have to believe him. Can I get some evidence, please? So, so you don't believe anything unless you have evidence. Nothing is real. I Brian need some evidence, evidence, Brendan. 
Is that fair? Am I being a dick about that? I just need some evidence. What about the videos they have? You're going to say they're fake? Show them to me. But you can bring them up. Show chin. them. Like, and again, you every video, video I see. But every bring video them up, seen, But every video Why I see is grainy. grainy. Why is it grainy? So it's not clear enough, though. Yeah. So it's not legit evidence. Yeah. Do you believe okay. the videos? Do you believe them? I, I don't know. I can't say they're not real. Okay, there you go. Come on, guys. Like, I, I need more than that. And you do, too. No. no you, I, you're, I don't, you're, I, you're, you're being very, um, how do I say it? What? But do, do you see what I'm saying, dude? I just need some evidence, Joe. I no. need evidence, Chikoy. Yeah, there, there's a lot of evidence out there, especially with Area 51. Is there though? Right? Yes. Here? But okay. Everyone. There's a lot of. There's a lot of. Uh, admit that, it, that. Look, all I'm saying is that am I bad? Am I wrong for being cynical? Am I wrong for being? Am I ignorant for being cynical? When I when when and what I mean by how the government works, guys. And I'm sorry that I sound like a dick when I say that I know more. I'm just talking about the way the government works. There are there is legislature. You have to pass. And B, you here, here's things, what I'm telling right? you. You might know more about the government. Congrats. That's I don't great. Care about no, that's that. great. You spent yeah. time studying that. That's yeah. fantastic. Anyone can learn that stuff. Yeah. What I'm saying to you is, it's not crazy to think that the government keeps secrets. Of course not. From the I didn't public. say that. Of course the government has secrets. Whether it's aliens. Whether whether it's war, whether it's Navy SEAL mission, sure. it's not crazy sure. in some far-fetched world that they hide evidence from the public. Okay, I agree and with it's that. it's not public I knowledge. I don't think UFO. It's not public I don't knowledge. think a UFO, though, would be, like, say, so every, all of us, pilots and everybody go like this. What the fuck is that, right? So think about, you'd have to be like, we found a UFO. Who are you going to tell? Who found it? Who are you going to tell? And why keep that a secret? Why? You why know wouldn't you though? Like I know why, why we say I know that why mass hysteria keep... isn't a, a, a very big factor in that. What, to I, keeping that a secret. I don't think that would be mass hysteria. Do you? You don't think that, telling that, that's every, the number you one. You don't think telling argument, the whole world specific. that there is a larger life that religion's not real. That that yeah that everyone has believed in this God, which you probably believe in, which has no facts, by the way. I don't. I don't know. About but you're just saying that you want facts, but yet all these religions are based off of hearsay no, as no, well it's just a mythology and a, and a, and a, and a but and there's a no philosophy. facts there's no facts there's no facts there's no documentation about jesus christ that's exactly or, or, right so, so okay so, so why I'm, is that I tend why is that bit, accepted i tend to be a little bit of an agnostic like i'm like well, i don't know like all I, i'm saying, all I'm is, saying is that I, there's no imagine evidence. when they say that they they they, they, they do have a, a a higher life form who that, said that who is, said though Right. If the government releases that information, just imagine what happens with every single religion that every 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 group that's out there that just believes in a specific religion. Okay. It, it would be mass. So, hey, perfect. Hey, so hold that. We, we have more let legit me, evidence let on me, like, aliens than we do. Let God. me dilate on what he's saying because this Good. is what I meant when I say this is not how government works. Let, let me just let me just say this. Okay. Great. So now what you're su assuming is that there is a policy in the U.S. government. That would that's there. There's a group of people, a governing body. Yeah. That there would have to be that has say so on whether or not the the what information the, gets the released? public. The public should know about something 100%. based on whether or not it creates mass hysteria 100%. or not. Yes. Right. One hundred percent. So so yes. but, so so that that can you tell me what that who is that body? Just tell me who it is. Do you know? Because I don't. I, I, I'm, I don't when know I say, either. When Wait, I say because, I know the because we don't know. When I know, when I say I study the government, like I don't know of one agency hold that on, would B, have B, that jurisdiction. Hey B, B, you know because what I'm hold on, but B, I know you studied again history. You keep telling us because you don't know it's not real. Well, but because you don't know that branch. Nobody of else does either. Can you tell me who it would be? I'm but sure how, there's someone that right, have right, that ability, uh, Brian, For you to they, sit here and act like that that the government lied about Area 51. That's a branch of government that was controlling that area. No, no. If you, if Joe, you Joe, penetrate I'm, that Joe, area, hold on, no, hold on. If you drive to Area 51, it says you will be shot. Joe, and killed. Yes, if you I even know, go past the fence, I, I that's a government body right yeah, there. Did yeah, you know about it? Yeah, same thing with the CIA. You didn't, didn't know about, about that before, You did know about it. But yet the president of the United States was saying there was no such thing as Area 51. Look, can I just say there are secret areas? Joe, it doesn't mean that they're UFO areas, the, right? That's not what you were saying. What you were saying, who are these governments, these yeah, secret so, governments? So, so, there's one right there. That's so, one so example, a, they're, Brian. So they, they, get a, they get a technology, and in the room, a bunch of guys go, uh, in the room, a bunch of guys go, um, and by the way, they're military guys, I would imagine, right? No, white, right? Well, watch. They go, we can't tell the American public or the world this because there'll be mass hysteria. Okay. That happens that all the time. Like that movie. happens all the fucking no, time. No, with terrorists. That, that happens all the time with terrorist attacks. It everything. does, but we also know about what no, we, we don't. We do. Remember, we used, to have the, we used to have the threat levels? About Remember that? Those are you gone, know, right? Threat levels? Those are gone. Well, because they were just ineffective. People weren't. But also, I know anymore. guys who were, right. to quote you, I know guys who are in that business who go, Oh my God! If if we announce on CNN, yes, exactly. the threat levels, 100%. there'd be mass hysteria. 
we cannot do it. Well, also, we, we don't want to tip off that. There are a lot of reasons for that, right? There are a lot of reasons, and I, I agree 100%. But this head the guy US goes, it would be massive. Of hysteria. course, the U.S. government doesn't want to scare the shit out of everybody because there are real threats out there, right? 100%. What I'm trying to say is this. If they found a UFO, hmm. and it's there, and, and let's, we, we, let's be honest. We're talking about it going back to the 50s. I don't personally see how in the world see, that's not good enough evidence. Keep that so how, secret. Hey, B, how you go, I need evidence. Yeah. I need evidence that you don't think they can keep a secret. I don't see why you think For 68 that, years? No, no way. way. No that's, way. It's impossible. You don't think, you, so you think so everything's hard. out in the government from the past 68 years? I mean, after years. 68 years, I mean, everything? UFO, you're hey, not going to keep. But B, everything? I would imagine everything. most things. No secrets. I think so. Oh, come on. Yeah. You're just playing devil's advocate. Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah, all no, secrets. I, I, let's just stick to a all, UFO. No, all, no let's, let's go bigger than UFO. No, Go let's bigger stick than to yourself. UFOs. But no, UFO you're in saying a, all in secrets, B. A UFO in a hangar. How are you going to keep that a secret for 40, 68 years? Honestly, do you really think we yes. can keep it a secret? Yes. yes. Why? We There's a shitload of stuff. There's a shitload of stuff. Mass hysteria. So they go, can't do it. And every, you know that, you know, it's all civilian oversight. So somebody in the civilian government, Trump would have to know, wouldn't he? Every president we've ever had would have to know mm -hmm. and their chief of staff. I well, would that's imagine, the Bill Clinton. Right. That was his point. Wouldn't, wouldn't, Clinton, all, yeah. wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't the White House overall. Correct. The, 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 the Secretary of State, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Defense, Secretary of Defense, yeah. the Undersecretary of Defense, all the people that ha are responsible. Those people are, first of all, they're civilians, they're appointed, they come in kind of with their own agenda. Uh, we know that but White they, House, not we, we know that the White either. House can never keep secrets, right? They're oh. always fucking backstabbing ah, each other. They're secrets. Yeah, but they're always backstabbing each other. Yeah. So these people know, and every There's administration every administration has known this, right? Mm -hmm. Even though it's top secret. I, do you really think that, that somehow every president says, we can't release this because it's top secret. Like, I know it's fun to believe. I just need, can I get a little evidence? You think all and presidents that, don't really, you think they don't die with secrets? You think every, all, everything's an open not book? what I said. Of course they don't. You're saying secrets. just UFOs. No, yeah, no, I'm, I'm saying well, secrets are, we have an intelligence community, right? And you're, yes. And there's top secret clearance, sure. right? And so you, you if, if you say anything, it's treason. You go to jail. Correct. Even, yeah. You can even be sentenced to death. Correct. Right. So one, I'm not saying that the U.S. government doesn't have secrets based on a credible threat china russia whatever it is right 100 percent. we have an intelligence apparatus a very big one with a blank check basically i am still trying to figure out why in the world ufos would be kept secret from us and i don't believe that answer joe you can't I think, say i don't, I don't see why you don't hysteria. believe that we're i should, don't understand why you don't I'm telling, we need to move on we're just gonna keep going in circles uh, and you guys so you guys uh, uh, percentage wise no percentage remember wise, we're remember we're idiots yeah, yeah. percentage idiots. wise percentage wise way to go p Percentage wise, you're telling me what do you think? Do you think that, that I there's can't a UFO in a hangar? In a hangar. What do you think? I, I don't know, but I know had I know for sure the government, I would bet my life on it, withheld secrets from us. Oh, still. We are. do not know everything. about about UFOs. About every oh, no, 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 about UFOs. everything. We're talking about UFOs. No, you can't just it's say one thing. UFO. If they hold That's all I was talking about. But that's all I would say. See, what I got, got me mad was that you guys are jumping over here and going, you're saying no secrets. No, guys, I'm not saying that. I'm well, talking about started, specifically dude. this guy talking about how he worked on a UFO. I don't believe him. That's I think fine. he's a liar. Okay. And but you, you know believe why? your friend that's all I'm with the fucking nails and the knife. Well, yeah, that's not too hard to believe because I know that guy. And I'll show you after we're done that that's a little easier to believe, isn't it? That a guy had a pocket knife and pinned I'm, his nails my than a thing, UFO? What's crazy to me and why you get so hostile about it, I have no idea. But why? You are hostile. Yeah, it's crazy. Because you're you guys crazy. are telling me that you're I'm crazy. Because you man. guys are attacking no, you're a crazy me. Man. You guys are telling me I, I believe this thing. Because you're, you're going saying, on a loop. Jumps, it's like, so frustrating. I'm, like, I'm not you're making going on a loop. No, you're not trying. You're not you following. Call this tiny no, we you, follow you. Me. Make these huge you call and these tiny you, people. And then you call us. You called this tiny people. You said infant. And then you went like this. I know. There's nothing this And then you brought out that you're you have a college degree. I did. Yeah, and you have a college degree. You guys got defenses. You got defenses. And you said you know everything about history and we're small. Everything about history. Just, I know it's not impressive that you decide to focus on that. How you said works. only big people know history, and only no, small you guys are, people believe in UFOs. You guys are, That's exactly what you, you guys said. are applying. You guys are saying oh, you yourself, say man. you say. If you I had know, a knife right now, I'd scribe you. <laughs> Why? I'd fucking scribe Why? You. Why? Don't scribe me. You. This and you're, you're a smart guy, and I'm not saying this to diminish you or anything. I would say I, there's smarter people who defend the alien stuff sure. that know the government better than you. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, 100%. No, no, I'm telling you, there are. When, there when are. you go of, of like 
degrees and stuff like yeah. that. You're a smart, dude. Sure. They're smarter guys. I don't care about being smart. In this well, no, but you—that was your card that you pulled out on us. No, so what I'm no, saying to you, it is, guys, your, it is I mean, a card. You, that was your know, card. You were we're telling small, me, you were telling me how the government works. We're that was small. hilarious. You were, you are. Uh, did you say we're small? I said you say we're in this area. In this area. And you're so smart. I said in this area. You're so smart. You're so good at history. I said you're so smart. You're you're always running late. Yep. You forgot your socks. You showed up. Did you forget your socks? Did you forget your socks? That's not fucking fair. Your socks. Yeah. Did you forget your socks? Yeah. So yeah. We're so smart. We're infants, but you forgot your That's socks. That's not fair, dude. And you were late to work. You're being right because of traffic. Because yeah. you live here and I you had know. The you know what time this starts. Yeah. Yeah. And you forgot your socks. Now you guys are fucking you're attacking smart, me for being smart. late. No, I, I have socks. Do you have socks? I have just socks. trying I have socks. to say. That's that might be one of the greatest quotes. I was of just all trying time. to say yeah. that I know a little bit. <laughs> of how You guys are infants. I went to college and studied history. Because mind you, you were telling me that I was saying That's all these things that I wasn't part, yeah. saying. You were yeah. so you were. Your true colors didn't show at all during that argument. So you are smart. You are scribing. You're so smart. You are Brian. Yeah. You win, dude. You can't Brian. talk to us. You're smart. Little people don't understand. See what happens. People. We can't even keep up. You're you guys so smart. Got, dude. You guys got some You're so smart, man. Listening. You're so you're so smart. So smart, man. I am. We should just stop it. We're too. We're you were we can't we shouldn't even be in your presence. It's yeah. just I just I we need be more I need more evidence about UFOs. Yeah. That's all I'm I do. I and I don't believe it. the government can has secrets or would keep it a secret. Yeah. Yep, you're right. I don't dude. believe they can or would. Joe, I wouldn't. And I don't believe that Area you 51. Just, I don't think you can keep a secret for 68 years about a UFO in a hangar in Area 51 or anywhere else. I don't think right. it's possible. What do you say, bro? Well, we're infants. and you guys we need think to change our diapers. <laughs> Where well, the government you doesn't. Do, no, you need to rethink your the life. The government doesn't yeah. work. Where you know it's like a bunch Top of people comic, going. We can't tell anybody. It'll get. Life. It'll get rid of religion. So Go read a book, Joe. I'm going to read a book on history. On history of the government. I, I knew. I knew once I did that. Go read would, the book. I would lose you guys <laughs> because he <laughs> majored in history in college. Do you know that? Oh my god! And you're a fucking infant. I'm a fucking infant. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to do that in this area. The, uh, I, I'm I shouldn't have done this, guys. This is what pissed me off. Sure this is the part that pissed me I off. Sure you looked at both of us. It's hilarious. Like this. You're this small. True colors fly out, man. No, True you were fly out. No, you were being insulting, wow. and you were you were. How was I insulting? Because you were going, you don't believe any secrets, and you're like, I was like, that's not what I said. Yeah. You that's what you originally yeah. started with that. Be no, and then you went to UFOs. No, I didn't. Yeah, no, I didn't. Yeah, you we can rewind it. You don't you listen. Came out swinging, bro. You don't listen. I listen. Be you do. You get defensive, and you go and you jump. I'm not defensive. Oh, so it's more likely to believe. Okay, you know what? No, no, no. I'm gonna jump in. I'm gonna jump in. You know why? gets defensive because when you talk and you th you throw your little he's demeaning hills, you're demeaning and you do this with your smile there's a there, there's a hand. hey <laughs> hey joe <laughs> so, so, yeah and the government it's gonna oh and you think you think, you think oh, okay. like he worked okay, in the okay, government i'm okay. oh, sorry like he worked I, there i'm sorry i have a brain yeah. <laughs> you don't have a brain come on yeah. so you come know on now. i understand why you believe in like like aliens okay was, but, was i a little but, but, uh, but i'm a human being with a brain it's very and, strange and, 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 Educated brain, so I understand. I so understand. I should I should have had a better approach. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was a little insulting. Yeah, no one likes to get talked like. That. I was a little insulting. <laughs> when I little little like Joe that. got heated. Well, he's a dick. He was being a dick. <laughs> you're being you're super being a dick. dick. B, I don't want to listen to that. I people, apologize. I'm you're not, right. You're I'm right. not I'm a super dick move. I can't wait for the fans. I just think it's a fun argument. I can't wait. You know, you. It's fun to believe in, right? Here's my. I'm not going to There you go again. There you go again. There you, there you go no, again. He's no, not. There you go again. No, he there goes, you go again. It's fun to believe. It's fun to believe. Right? Like, but he goes. It's fun to believe. It's fun right? to believe. Right? <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But you're. Yeah, not, hey, hey, you're hey, not, hey, 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 hey. Everyone likes fairy tales, right? <laughs> right? You like cartoons, right? <laughs> but you're not, I like DuckTales. You're not a conspiracy. Hey, but, but we watch hey, Spider Man hey, too, don't we? Hey man. Kalala. <laughs> Kalala. <laughs> Come on, guys. I don't do that. <laughs> Come on, hey, my, on, hey, my thing is, is hey, I'm not even diehard for I aliens. Know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle. Yeah. What I'm saying is, and I know this for a fact. I don't know. You don't know. Right. Yeah. Neither one of us knows. Joe yeah. doesn't know. No. no one knows there. So when you're so diehard set on it, well, it's just weird. I just, I because I don't have a dog. If there are aliens, fantastic. Right. If there's not, all right, yeah. cool. Too. You know what it is? When a guy on gets on Rogan and he worked there and he talks about it. I kind of go. You didn't listen to it though. I didn't listen. So that's the first problem. Yeah. That's you, problem. You don't have evidence to, right. to back that up. But is there any? You jumped to conclusion. Is there any government agency? That, is there anybody? You got you got to listen to it and yeah. then report back. Okay. I will. Or call Rogan. Fair? Call Rogan and go, dude. What do you tell? What do you think? Was he full of shit? Yeah. Because I text Rogan and go, dude, is that guy full of shit? What did he say? No. Yeah. Say it. You want to say it? <laughs> you want to say, say Rogan's Rogan small? 
<laughs> call Rog- Rogan small? Say Rogan's an infant. You want to say it? You want to call Rogan an infant? No, just do it. Do, do it. it now. Look at do that it. camera. Let me know how your career goes. Right there, bro. Do it. Let me know how your career goes. Hey, guys, you're threatening. You can do it. Do it. You guys are threatening. Well, you were so quick to do it to us. Yeah. I didn't mean that. Go right now. No, we're infants. Hey, Rogan. Joe. Brian wants to call you something. Guys, yeah, I'm sorry. He thinks was, you're full of shit. I was, no, you, 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 didn't, I apologize. you didn't go to college, bro. I didn't mean that. Joe, Joe didn't go to college. I didn't Joe didn't mean, go to college. I Brian wants to call you something. No, do it. Shut. Infant. Come on, shut. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, the guy that brought the socks. Hey, get off. He's your leather shoes with no socks. Get off me. Because he's a historian. Not a historian. Joe Rogan. Uh, Go ahead. Tell him. Come on, I'm sorry. No, say it. Rogan doesn't have a college degree. Say it. Say it. I didn't say it. Call you he believes in the same story that we believe in. Say it. Look. Say it to his fucking face, <laughs> man. Don't I can't me. wait say for the night's fight to be. I you, bro. I don't, don't scribe. You want to get scribe. scribed? Oh, no, don't scribe. You want to get scribed? No, please, I'm sorry. I just don't believe in UFOs, okay? Until I see. Call him more. small. <laughs> call call, call him, him small. You know, everyone's an infant. Everyone's call an infant. Call him an infant. I right shouldn't now. have called you an infant. Face. That's your camera right I there. I just meant in when it comes to. Exactly. And that's when the historian. Becomes a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> let's get out of here, man. Wait, let's one. Do we have any more? <laughs> no, we don't. Nope. We're, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm out of it. I have to go now. I have to go. So does Joe. I gotta go. Fuck you. I ruined everything. Uh, yeah, you did. I'm gonna be at Brea <laughs> this <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's wow. tomorrow. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm at Brea Improv. Get your tickets now. Ooh. After I'm in Cincy, then Indy. Get your tickets. T5K.com. Hey, uh, uh, the brilliant one. Where are you gonna be? All right. First one thing I want to say is, <laughs> hey, infants, <laughs> come see Brian. <laughs> show he's, he's a this. really kidless fun hey, guy hey, kidless he's doing a ted talk kidless about listen. how small everyone no, is no no the kidlets need to know this i'll be in spokane july spokane. 11 12 and 13 joe coy's gonna open for me and then <laughs> san francisco Cobbs, july 9th and 20 look i know there are a lot of diehard ufo guys please no, don't no, stop no, we're, we're down we're down we're out we're out we're out we're out we're out we're out my netflix special oh yeah yes go it's the best special on netflix right now netflix special you guys coming in hot check it out right now coming in hot joecoy.com if you want to check it out i'll tweet about it no don't send me anything hey remember you're all infants Brian's a dick. UFOs in my emails, <laughs> Brian's please. A Brian's a dick. You're a dick. I'm this is fine, kid. We're out. Love you guys. Bye.